What right. is the event horizon for wokeness? Well, it's like, kind when of does it's it like, rise listen, to the woke it's like, it's label? It's like pornography. Okay. You know, when, know you see it, it? when I see it. They're trying to indoctrinate you sitch, secretly. It, just, it bothers That's what's me that I on. even have to think about this. Because well, like, they won't well, shut up about it on. all the time. Disney yeah. goes and talks about it all the time. Please watch our thing because there's women, women in it or because minority. there's, yeah, whatever. And it's Put like, a woman wow. in it and make it gay. <laughs> Look at this. Mahler's okay, here. Just you got to get rid of the stupid sitch in the dress picture. Adam. Okay. <laughs> you have to get rid look, of that. No, look. No, if all... got, no you, I'm, I, you literally have to get rid of it. I'm sick of it. You have to take it out. Okay. Look, I can, okay, I'll get rid of it. Jeez. I feel Man. like you're legitimately angry. It is. Like, you? you had it for like four shows. It's ridiculous. So, 300 show, you have this stupid picture in the background. Well, look, <laughs> I, I, they're, they're going to clip a bunch of. Anna Kasparian out yeah, of context. Yeah, what the fuck is, oh my. <laughs> Look, this is like the best troll of all time. What are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> Look, they're going to be talking about this on Fox News, and they're going to see you in a dress in the background. I said people have to pay one hundred grand to get me to wear a dress, and you're giving it away for free, Adam. What are you doing? I can't help myself. <laughs> and this is what you bring me in for. Yeah, Ridiculous. listen. How much would you for a hundred grand? Would you? Would you do a face reveal of yourself in a dress? Hundred grand, uh, I guess so. Okay, well, <laughs> I go. guess so. I guess. I mean, you know, sure. Well, Who's how about for, look? I feel Anyone. like we've overpaid. How about fifty bucks? Yeah. Wait, what? What is? It? Wait, is someone paid Sitch to be in a dress? Is that what's happening? Not no. Yet, so but... Adam said that he would not uh, take a hundred grand to to wear a dress. To wait, just to wow. On stream, on stream. Obviously. Oh no, Adam! Yeah, well, yeah you want, look. Well, what happens Mahler, to you want me in a dress? If you want me in a dress privately, Mahler, you know, message me. <laughs> we'll, we'll work. We'll work something out. As much as that is irrelevant, I feel <laughs> offended that you would imply that I would have to do something special to get that kind of treatment from you, Adam. Oh, I feel okay. like I've earned it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Look, private shows for me at this point, you know, I'm just saying it feels entitled with the the task of coming on this mess of a show. Congratulations, by the way. 300 episodes. You. Not bad. Thank you. What thank uh, you. what number are you guys at? 256, I believe. Mm, OK, not quite 300. But, well, we don't label everything we do as an episode. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the, Mahler, I'm on your side. This was such a horrible idea. I was like, we Oof. could pull three hundred. We could push three hundred off forever for me, but mm -hmm. at least we got November the fifth, right? Remember, yeah. remember the fifth of November. The gun. I don't. Know, how do you feel? Plot. How do you, how do you feel, feel about uh, V for Vendetta? I like the movie. I, I hear okay. it's controversially liked and hated by many people. I wasn't so aware. Of Is that. it really? I mean, I mean, it's got like some cringe in there, sure, but I, I always thought it was neat. I don't know. Is yeah, that like, like what it. do you guys think? I, I liked I it. it and I when it came out, I remember basically everyone liking it. I don't know if there's like a new thing among the I heard the several now. people saying there was shit in uh, in my Discord. I saw some stuff on different Reddit threads and I was like, These are young God. children, right? That's saying this. People who don't know anything, is that what you're saying? Yes. No, people who wow. didn't grow up see like you didn't grow up when it came out. You know, they saw I saw someone say later. Hugo Weaving's voice is cringe and I was like, Okay. What? That person you should remove from your Discord. <laughs> that is blast. Remove from life <laughs> gotta, gotta i mean going. you said it i'm just agreeing <laughs> oh i just meant the game of life the board game jeez i didn't whoa oh, uh -huh. just, you have to make it so real i just oh mm -hmm. you I know, know this, the, this person loves have, playing life so we have anna kasparian we're talking to anna kasparian right now mm -hmm. i don't know if you know this Mahler. Right now, Anna Kasparian, host Mola, of the Anna Young Kasparian. Turks. That's what it says on screen. I don't know. Uh, if... Look, oh. I'm doing. I'm doing a little light graphic design <laughs> as we go. I have. I had to send rags the D. Uh, the DM on Discord, and I. I don't know how to send. I'm sure I can send Fringy. Oh, well, or link as well. Fringy, link. Yes. I just. I sent them oh, both. It. Oh, okay. 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 Cool. I didn't know. Well, I thought. Right. I thought they were, they were already here, and you just went oh, let look. them in or something. Oh no! Are they? Look. I now I see them in the waiting room. They My were. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, guys. No. What's nice up? Here. Welcome, welcome Hello. to our show. Look, I'm Hi. doing Listen, graphic design. Such, I know it's 300 speak. episode, but oh, this wow. this Adam guy's not working out. Okay. Yeah. I know right. he's such a boomer. He, you know, people he, you know, love people absolutely love the light graphic design portion of the show. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Light graphic design. Wait. So, so if what, I'm Anna Kasparian. Who's going to be shoe on head now? Is it Rags? So, what are we? I can be Anna Kasparian. 
Oh, yeah. It's too late. No, I am. <laughs> All right. I will be. I'm a new Jen host Cougar. of the Young Tigs. Jen Cougar. How okay. look? How have we outpaced you in shows? And you're we, like you a well. You're, you're like us. a well-oiled machine. And I'm you, still doing a light graphic design <laughs> during the show. I consider this offensive. You guys don't even do Adam and Sitch movies or Adam and Sitch TV. You just do the lame normal episodes. Yeah. Where's Where's your quiz show? Well, this is we're this gonna do one right here. What yeah. Mean? What do you guys want to talk about? Okay. That's our... Here's the quiz show. I got you. So I'm glad you all came. Let me start off with a very easy question for a quiz show. How do you guys feel about the Israel Palestine conflict? <laughs> I hope every. I just hope everyone has a fun time. <laughs> there are five correct answers. And they all give you different amounts of points. So oh, you want to go first? Good time. You want to go, go there, first? Have Mara? a great game of baseball. We could poll the audience. Uh, yeah, would you would you like who's, to pull the audience on the Israel question, Mahler? Who's going first? You know what, uh, <laughs> Sitch, you would have loved you'd have loved the quiz episode we did. You you'd mm -hmm. have wanted to be there. It was uh, it was guessing the most like famous and referenced people on Earth, and the more closer to rank one you get, the more points you get. Oh, Wait, you're talking about was, that horse shit EFAP we did. It was, oh, it says the guy the who shit. lost. Yo, he's so bitter because he lost. You so no, no, I thought it was great. Ooh. There no, he is. He's What's so... up, Fringy? Hello. Yeah. Welcome no, it was, to it the stream. Fun. The uh, it was the best part. The best part of it was that in the top 100, when you're guessing, you think like an American president would surely be on the top 100 of most yes. known reference people Easily. in history. Mm -hmm. And out of curiosity, what would you two have guessed as the most likely president to be on that list? Oh. Well, when you say reference, reference by who? Uh, uh, let's just say all of Wikipedia. Yeah, like who do you and, think and would multiple be the Wikipedias most as well. A uh, Wikipedia? Yeah, because yeah. like if you were to say like news articles, I'd say Trump just because you know. No, 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 no. We... But Wikipedia. Like, yeah. Ooh. What do you reckon? I don't know. Probably like Washington or Lincoln would probably be my two. Yeah, so that's that's what I thought. It's gonna be uh, someone I... like Taft. Somebody like what? Like um, well. What do you reckon, Adam? Who do you think who do you think it would have been if it wasn't Washington or Lincoln? For what what was the question again? The no. most referenced <laughs> US president on like Wikipedia, if you had to pick Washington one. or Lincoln, FDR. Ha, wrong again. Um, what? So yeah. the, the the actual answer was Jimmy Carter. What? Because oh, they're because they're basically bagging on him the whole time. I don't like, know, oh I don't god, know. he's the worst president ever. I, I don't know. I don't know why, but he was he was uh, he's he history's was greatest monster. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly what's going on. It's so weird. Yep. This no, was, was a trick started. question. We were tricked. I feel it's the most reference well, on Wikipedia. If, if you were tricked, we were tricked as well because it was oh. that was the adventure that we went on. And yet, despite being tricked, you have with us today Champion Fringy, who was victorious right. and won. That's so. right. Compared yeah, to virgin rags, lost. <laughs> the opposite of a virgin, I'm a sex haver. Oh wow, that's awesome. Uh, well, yeah, good for you. Nice. Who was I've on heard, the top I've 100 list of sex. having sex with rags on that quiz? <laughs> I've not had. I didn't have sex with anyone on that list. Oh, don't even. Jimmy you haven't done Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter. Come on, what are you waiting for? How can you be a true American? Is he alive? Can I still theoretically yeah, he's still have sex alive. with Jimmy I think Carter? He's like ninety-seven he years old. Yeah, he's like building right, houses. So there's still a chance. <laughs> I think he is building houses. He might act. He did a lot of charity work. He's erecting he? houses. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Mm. Okay. Who? So by himself, who, he's just out there building houses. Like I Minecraft. Think he, I think he does a lot of like. Well, not like well in, in real life. Real life Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah. Building houses for like poor people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those. Those guys, those gross guys, you know, who are just crawling around. He has to get homes built for him. So what was like, what was like a weird one that Fringy got that just Rags just totally dropped the ball? I don't um, know. That the, the, the one that was surprising, like a... the big one was that Che Guevara was on the list and pretty high up. Uh, that blew all of our minds. Huh. I mean... Huh. Well, <laughs> well bearing bearing in mind that, that the only US president that was on the list was Jimmy Carter. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, it was pretty surprising. There's a lot of um, explorers, philosophers, physicists, yes. scientists sort of stuff. Well, I guess if it's referenced on Wikipedia, it'd be someone that had a lot of influence in some field that like would just constantly be referenced back to. So it makes sense that like philosophers and scientists 
would just yeah. fill up that list. Yeah, like foundational like mathematic people, yeah, stuff like that. Oh, what sure. was the one that you got really mad about? Was it no Pythagoras was on the list? It was someone else who was it Rex that you guessed? I don't know. Ancient Greek. Uh was it uh oh, damn. I don't know. Hello, I can't remember who it was, Aristotle. but Jojo Binks? Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks was not on the list. Nor uh Jar Jar yeah, wasn't. He was the key to everything, but he wasn't. Oh, was he, on he'd be list. on the um he'd be on the, the fictional characters list, top ten probably. Excellent. Probably, maybe. Well top ten. Uh, yeah, you know, a man can Okay, dream. top five, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And thank you. Shu just gave us twenty dollars saying happy three hundred. Thanks for having me on. Well, thanks for coming on, Shu. What'd you guys yeah. talk about? Was it something non controversial? Uh, we just talked about how Shu and Anna are secret white wingers who want to <laughs> oh, indoctrinate okay. their audience into voting for Trump. Yeah, not oh, secret though. Everyone knows now. Wow, yeah, that's right. Right. Oh, whoops. I was gonna oh. say, you guys are streaming, by the way. I don't know if you knew. Are we? I thought this was just a private <laughs> conversation where Anna was gonna put on a dress for you. <laughs> well, I thought that was gonna be later, but <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if he wants to do it now, I'd love yeah, to go say for that. it. Yeah, or kind of a dress like a nice flowy sundress that you can just lift up and see everything. I'm not sure. I, Something look, that billows in the breeze, a little old 20. What are, those a lot of fresh air. what are those like Bo Peep dresses that like stretch out at the bottom? I think they're called, that's are... what they're called, Bo Peep dresses. Oh, okay. Yeah, everyone yeah. calls them that. That'd be mm-hmm. pretty cool. You just walk into any store and look, say, we... I'm looking for a Bo Peep dress. What do you, the first. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We... Bo Peep doesn't wear a dress anymore. She's athletic and cool and action packed. She's super and she's awesome. A and cool now. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. She wears short shorts. Look, we we've tank. we've actually prepared for this, you guys. We Whoa. have questions. Okay. We have questions. Well, wait, we've... wait. Before you get into your questions, I want to ask Rags and Franny. I'm. Would you guys wear a dress on stream for a hundred grand? For a hundred grand, hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Well, it's easy I mean, wearing a that dress. Seems, that's that easy. Seems like that's such a low. Rags, yeah. Apparently, apparently, Adam said no to this. You said what? no to wearing a dress a on stream for a hundred thousand dollars. You fool. How about uh, fifty bucks, you guys? <laughs> Uh, 50. fifty bucks, yeah, um, nah, 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 nah. not so much. Prob- oh, okay, probably. why not? Look, why not fifty bucks? Probably it's... fifty bucks, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> I just don't. It's not that big of a deal, right? Just to put on a dress and be like, yes, yeah, so I give you fifty bucks. I'm like, I don't give a shit. I'm secure enough in my mm-hmm. sexuality to be like, yeah, that's all a dress. I don't give a shit. I look good in anything. You don't even go on camera, Rags. What are you talking Damn, about? Damn, talk about an easy fifty bucks then. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at this no 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 look at this oh like the loophole the, yeah, yeah, the loophole he did he was prepared no no uh, you have to nice down. did you write that one down rags you have it in a notepad that's with all look the right, that's pretty good uh, right, right what down? oh just your memes your uh your puns no i don't write anything down this is all natural mm. if you say so these like are that, just my like pearls of wisdom bloop, bloop, bloop. they're just falling out of my mouth Look at them and go. other places. What? So, okay. What's the low at like ten grand? Would you all wear a dress on stream? I don't think I want to like figure out exactly what the price. I want to find okay, the wait. lower limit <laughs> here. Okay. We're gonna. I, why is what's up? What's going on? Are you getting uncomfortable? For me, it's pretty easy. If if I do it for fifty, I'd probably do it for ten grand. Well, you well, that's rags. Forward, we already yeah. got it. That you're you're a, you're a whore. Okay, you'll do it for fifty dollars. But <laughs> these other <laughs> gentlemen are high class. I want to reminded you have capped us to two hours, as far as I know. This is what you want to ask us about. Yes, yes, see, what, what Sitch, is, what the heck? It's 300. We're just having fun. Mahler, Mahler, thank on? you. It's a thank serious you. conversation. What is thank this? You. Let's very move fun. on. Let's this move on to our fun. questions. Our no. first question is, Oh boy. Is there anything you guys want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good first question. <laughs> That's, mm. That is literally the first question, so. Um, well, like, we saw you guys in the Middle East, recent so media what else take. is there? What? Well, not mm. look one at a time here, Mahler. What were you? What is there anything you want to talk about, Mahler? I said, what's you guys' worst recent media take? All, look, media all, takes all of our media things. takes are okay. gold. Yeah, what are you talking right about? Fools no, gold, uh, pyrite. Well, I was gonna say they'd have to be gold to you. Like that's how that works. Have you been watching the the new Loki show? Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's girl awful. It. Oh, <laughs> it is girl okay, awful. That's fine. All right, that's okay. There we go. We're safe, everybody. All right, the gun's Sniper, down. That's okay. Yeah, <laughs> go home. I don't know what it, what have I even seen recently. Um, hey, wait, 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 wait. Before we move on, um, Sitch, could you describe to me the plot of Loki season two? So I've only seen the first two and a half episodes. Oh, good. And it's uh, Loki 
so Loki knows that Kang is coming back, or he thinks Kang is, com- is oh, coming back. Please, and make so it stop. <laughs> he's trying to warn the TVA. Like, he's like, you gotta get ready. The Council of Ricks slash Kang are coming <laughs> to destroy everyone. And everyone's like, oh, I don't know what that means. Who are you talking about? And he's like, look, here's a statue of his face. And they're like, okay, yeah, shut up. And then there's like a civil war, I guess, sort of. But it's like very under the radar in this in the TVA where people who want to keep pruning timelines, people who don't want to keep pruning timelines. Oh, make and it then stop. they so spend painful. an entire episode for no reason trying to interrogate this one fucking stupid guy. Brad. Brad? Uh, Brad. Yeah, who, yeah, yeah Brad. they're like, like, hey, Brad, tell us where Sylvia is. Tell us where Sylvia is because we think you know. And they, sp- I don't know why they spent so long on this. Like, they're really dragging this stuff out. And then finally he tells them and it's like, she works at McDonald's in the 70s for some reason. And you're like, why? Isn't that great? And then that was the episode and I'm just like, this is really awful. That was excellent. So you haven't so kept up with go. the show somehow. Like you haven't been compelled to continue it. That's crazy. No, you're missing I, out. No. You missed out on the universe. All universe is turning into spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, in the first Painful. episode, I liked that they had short round in it. I'm like, oh, it's, yeah. it's that yeah. guy. Yeah. 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 yeah, I like, I like him. You. He's there very he endearing. You yeah. reminded me of a much better movie. Exactly. Everything, everywhere. You remind me of two better much movies. better movies. That's right. oh, we yeah. talked about Indiana Jones. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming that's why they had him in this uh, you, movie. They're like multiverses. We got they had that guy in the movie. Ooh, we are you guys really Indiana excited Jones for the movies. Marvels? Are you really hyped for that movie? It's coming out this oh, week. Is it the one with the cats? Yes, the alien yeah, cats. I love cats. Yeah. yeah. Dude, alien right. cats even? All right. Well, yeah. Wait, or is that that's the one with the girls in it? Oh, this well, girl's yeah, right. that's yeah, like the MCU, that's all of them. superhero slumber party, right? I think I saw an ad for that. So yes, great. The one with girls and cats in it. So they're really they're hitting a very specific demographic. Party. They're like girls and cats. This is the movie. For you. Yeah, I I expect another billion dollars, just like last time. Billion dollar box mm-hmm. office smash. I think that's a box little optimistic. I don't, <laughs> to I don't be know. To be honest, with... I'm not okay, sure. Well, Fringy Fring believes in this project, and I don't think you should yeah, hamper that. I can't that. tell if you're being sarcastic or not, Fringy. I'm you not what? being sarcastic. I'm dead you, serious. I'm really like excited for the models. I think so. I think. I think you look at the. It's going to beat Oppenheimer for sure. It might be the first trillion dollar movie. Maybe. Who's, okay, who wait, is going to make more money? What's happening here? Who's going to make more money off it, Me, Marvel I put on the or well, YouTube? Because YouTube is obviously like that's going to just spawn a billion videos. Right. So much <laughs> advertising is going to be made on savaging that movie. Yeah, that's uh, that's probably true. <laughs> yeah. So who's <laughs> who's who is going to make more money? Who's going to make more money, YouTube or Marvel? I think YouTube might Maybe. make more money on this one. Mm-hmm. Look, YouTube Ooh. makes money on all these movies um, that do. Considering poorly. Marvel going to make nothing from it, uh, YouTube will definitely. Oh, you're make right. Money. You're right. Yeah, sure, they're yeah. Gonna, they're yeah. lucky if they break even. They're going to lose money on this. If thing. yeah, if YouTube makes a dollar, I think they win. Well, if yeah. YouTube make let's say YouTube's pennies, already like 90 made million dollars. dollars or something. Look, people are reviewing the the trailer. They're already making money off this thing. Exactly. Meanwhile, yeah, they're probably not going to turn a buck on this one. Which uh, oof. Technically, what Marvel makes money on the trailer too. Uh, do they? Dude, wait, wait do if they that's included in the marketing budget for the. <laughs> <laughs> wait, is yeah, that so weird? we can get these YouTube views and funnel them back into our marketing <laughs> campaign. Oh yeah, see guys, we we didn't lose money because all the ads we made money on <laughs> the ads YouTube. for the movie. They, like, <laughs> they just like hire someone to make the videos shitting all over the Marvels, and they make their money back through that one YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, capitalism. That's so weird that like nowadays uh studios will make money on the ad for their movie by putting ads on their ad for their movie on YouTube. I didn't know that they put ads. I actually I wondered about that sometimes. Like, huh, do they run ads on their ads? Hmm. Well, I have you well, even if you don't, if you have YouTube red or premium or whatever. Is the ad is. another oh, movie true. trailer? <laughs> That's right. If that's oh, that's a good point. Yeah, because with the YouTube like premium, that that would wow. That's a that's a smart strategy. Honestly, that's there you go. Clever. Yeah, I never thought of that. <laughs> okay, anyway, rag. I'm, not, I'm not a multi million dollar corporation anyway. Rags. Rags. Is there Hi. anything you want to talk about? Oh goodness! Wow, Granny goodness. 
Have I? I don't think Muller's ever asked me that question. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> what? Wow! How long have you? Wow! Been? It's always well, yeah, but we don't Mueller. fuck around. None it's of us always hey, that. watch this bad thing, and I'll monetize your tears. <laughs> Muller, <laughs> Muller, not very considerate. We're not considerate very, here. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what they I'm say like about Mueller. considerate we care. people. No. What do they say about considerate people? They'll get killed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! It's, it's horrible. <laughs> They'll I've get never killed. Heard that saying before. So you know, you be careful out there. Okay. What was the beatitude <laughs> about considerate people and what happens to That's them? That's a little strange, but okay. Is that moral about the? Is it like the the rabbit and the turtle? The considerate one dies. The rabbit and the turtle, mm. the tortoise and That's... the hare. It's in some oh yeah, countries. I remember that story. The considerate but rabbit. But some people, the... for, for yeah, some reason, it's the turtle and the rabbit. The rabbit, the rabbit wards the turtle to get away from that hunter, but the hunter gets him, and it's uh, it's so sad. Look at so, this. Mahler has already taken over Rags's time to talk <laughs> about what he wants to do you, talk about. Do you hear that, everybody? He just said it's Rags's time. I told you. Consider people no, die. It's I don't horrible. Wanna, it's not. This isn't about whose time it is. It's about you and the celebration of your 300th so episode. That's yeah, but so powerful we want, look, we want to talk about what you guys want to talk about. So, look, we have other questions, obviously. So we're going to ask you about... Um, we still Wait. haven't finished our talk about... Uh, is Israel there and Palestine. So. That's true. But is there something Fringy wants to talk about? Um, what did you, what did you guys think about the Barbie movie? <laughs> oh, <laughs> we have a winner! We have a winner. There you go. Oh my goodness, Sitch! There you go. Please explain what you thought of the Barbie movie. I want to hear Mahler and Fringy give a very detailed explanation of the politics, the feminist politics of Barbie. Oh, How yeah. Feminism is ruining I, movies. It's a very considerate more... movie. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it would have considered I, being good. I asked you, my question was, what did you guys yeah, think about it? They're cheating, cheaters. Everyone knows what our opinion is. That's why you asked the question. It was a meme question. We don't watch this crappy show. Yeah. We don't know what your opinion is. It's vaguely <laughs> a meme question, but it's almost, it, you know, it's it's not entirely. I wasn't on the episode question. where we were covering Bobby. Or I something. think, yeah, exactly. I think Barbie is a wonderful laugh Aww. riot. That, <laughs> that, wonderful that, laugh riot. That sensitive men on the internet are projecting politics into, and there's obviously no politics yes. into a movie where they have to use a feminist speech to deprogram women from the patriarchy, that's just part of the comedy. It is that's embarrassing. It's kind of a fun message. adventure romp where, like, it's just, like, it's, it's basically a doll sort of reaching humanity. That's really all it's about, I'd say. Yeah! Like, she, Barbie wanted to become... There's scenes that are great where she just goes through the motions, she sees humans being happy, and she's like, I want a piece of that. I want to, I want to know what that's mm -hmm. like. I want yeah, a piece when, of the happy. Yeah. When you say yeah. several scenes, when you say, when you really mean one scene, that one scene where they establish Barbie's entire character. It's not about the amount real, of scenes. Like, it's about how it's, powerful they are and how they several, speak to the spirit of womanhood. Yes. Several frames uh, in the movie are about <laughs> that. So that's a lot. There are many frames even. So, yeah. You know how many it's... frames are in each second? I mean, there's lots of frames there. That's true. That's a good Not point. that many. Yeah, only yeah, about 20... 24. 24 ish, 30 ish. That's, that's more than ish. like five, so. Yeah. It is more than five, but it's not, it's still not much. Yeah, but, you know, six is more than five, and it's not that much. Yeah, exactly. I would say 24 mm. is a lot. Okay, there's only 24 hours in a day. And that's that's a true. Time. So there's as many. Is that why A24 is called that? Yeah. The it is. company? It's... Yes. It... Wow. I mean, if you think I about it, each that. frame, That's... if it's 24 frames, it, that means each frame is like, or each second is like a day. Well, it's that, and they're only going to make 24 films. As soon as they do that, they're done. They're out. Ooh. Yes. I hope they're less shit than The Green Knight. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, oh I mean, God, that was... No. Uh, I have so much fun. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> I think you're lying to us. I think you're not being honest about what you think uh -oh. about that movie. Uh-oh. What movie? The Green Knight? Yeah, it's not very good. <laughs> yeah. It's Just not. watch the last ten minutes. Yeah, last ten minutes is cool. I don't know. <laughs> do you think do you think the last ten minutes even works without the other two hours? Um nah, maybe. Maybe it does. Hmm. I'm, I'm never going to rewatch it to check. Yeah, I, I, I don't yeah, I don't <laughs> care enough to check. I'm just going to say maybe and that'll be it for me. Yeah. It's based on the J.R.R. Tolkien book of the same name, or no? It's true, yes. Not... The Green Knight. Yes, J.R.R. Tolkien's The Green Knight. That's the one after Two Towers. Oh, he is The Green Knight. Okay. It's an autobiography about his time in World War One. 
That's right. Yeah. The Green Knight because of all the gas and he was sleeping at night. And so <laughs> he had to put on his mask and it was, it was the Green Knight. And it was a green mask. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Uh, someone has a good question. Uh, Sammy has a good question. She says, what are, we know Rag's opinion. What is Mahler and Fringy's opinion on Hello Kitty? Ooh. I can't even Ooh. remember my opinion on it. <clears throat> Rags, did you see the the little animation that Sammy G put together? Oh my God, it's so no, hilarious. No, I, I have really? not seen Sammy G. Look, no, what's who's go- Sammy G? What's going on with your Twitter, Rags? Like, why aren't you hanging exist. out? What do you mean? I don't have one. I if know, you know someone why? who knows someone. What do you mean Twitter? Can... What, what is his ex? Yeah, what uh, is my ex? Look, other Fringy. Other than a lying Fringy, boy. Rags has lots of exes. Fringy, yeah, I don't go. One. I don't go for that ex bullshit. Okay. <laughs> No, well, no, I'm just saying, you know, just in case it's, it's Elon spent a lot of it? money yeah. to ruin the brand. So <laughs> yeah, I know, bad. I know, I know, I know. Uh, you Look, know, I, I said, what are the tweets I'm kind of in now? denial. Okay, I admit it. They're no, posts, I, uh, I think. I don't know if I'm in denial. I'm in like mm-hmm. acceptance, but not. I don't right. accept it. I, yeah, that I sucks, it. doesn't it? Isn't it fucking absurd that he did that? <laughs> but look, you, you would have seen the animation if you were on Twitter, though. Like, I keep what? seeing people say... I can like, view Twitter. I can see... Tw- I go to Twitter. I can Yeah, but can we would at things. you. We would send it to you. we go, look I at this. I guess you just have we to We would force Discord you. We'd say, like look at this immediately. Well, Here, maybe we Discord. can LARP like it's 2023, and you can send me a Discord DM. Oh, I know. Discord. Okay. Terrible. But, I mean, if, if you I'll, know... I'll put it on my calendar. Band, that would be fun. <laughs> I mean, you know, I... Yeah, I'd like to poke my head in and check out the memes. We thought it was you. I, don't you have to ask somebody? People are For rallying what? for you to come back to Twitter. Then t- uh, tweet um, Elon Musk. He doesn't have anything better to fucking do these days, I guess. We've done or, it. Or tweet someone. You do it again. It's been done. Maybe he'll notice it this time. Again and again and I would, again. I would do Twitter sometimes if I was there. <laughs> oh, my God. If I was allowed to make posts and like <laughs> and... Um, retweet as we'll the make say. we'll make sure that you see it it's it's amazing we, we right. talked about hello kitty on the show and uh we had a, a very funny back and forth that that uh sammy g ended up animating so but uh I, so um, are we going to talk about uh wait what Mar- was so barbie what or what? fringy and Mahler's take on hello oh kitty? I, they never answered yeah we know on hello kitty um i'd say rags loves different. hello kitty that was his take i don't know don't was contradict it? yourself right. Rex. yeah I know, the, I inter- the internet will get very angry <laughs> I'm uh, I'm pretty indifferent to Hello Kitty, if I'm being honest. Indifferent. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Honestly, I'm just pretty what indifferent. A, what a mean person. Anyway, um, Mahler. I don't think I'm How much do you love um, Hello Kitty? Uh, so I mean, looks like a cute little brand that doesn't really appeal to me. Oh, okay. Why does Look it not it. appeal to you? Um, simping for S class. Like the this this just this this so like. The the pinks. Pink is not my color for one. Mm. It's not pink, prefer. it's light red. Um uh, no. A lot of what I'm seeing is pink. Is it? Oh, I'm pretty yeah. sure it's light red. Can is you it? send it can you send it me a screenshot on Discord? A Discord DM? Can I oh yeah, sorry, we can't send each other shit in this crappy fucking <laughs> application. <laughs> this is the page I've been provided. I, th- for I Hello tried Kitty. to look. Look, I tried to look. Don't we have one here? I feel like we have one. Rags. Yeah, look right here. We just need to add Fringy to it. Wow, that is that's light red. Yeah. Hey, Rags. Y- you understand? There's more than one color in that image, right? No, well, I'm talking about the pink part. Yeah. I'm, so am I? <laughs> well, no, that's no. You're no. The you light. You're talking red about part. the light red. I'm talking about yeah. the pink. No. You you can't see a single pink in that image. It's all Fringy, red. help me out here. Can you see any pink? Uh, no, it's light red. Is, there there is much pink. Yes. In, the, in here. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I think we're. I think we're gonna have to agree to disagree. Rags, are you? What? Come on. What is? <laughs> what is uh. Well, I mean, it could be Rags. Are you, are you actually? Do you have a little bit of color blindness? What? What? No. Nope. Sure Hello Kitty. Are you looking? We got to bring. That's that actually. Up. Yeah. That's an old wives' tale. We have Which to let wife? the chat decide. Which um. I don't know. Uh, which one do you want, Sitch? No, no, no. Which, what what which picture are they want? looking at and arguing about right now? I will provide it to Adam in Twitter. Okay. I, th- I think well, I just I have a trained artistic eye, and so maybe a lot of people okay. might not. A be trained able to say. artistic wow. eye. Wow. Trained, cringe artistic eye. <laughs> there is no cringe. Cringe is color. Cringe is colorblind, as Twitter has taught me. That well, is I just found true. out that cringe is colorblind. <laughs> that is true. The look at that. Oh, that's amazing. 
Oh, so this is just the, all of the screenshots. Yes, and I'm saying I'm getting hit with a large sense of pink, and it's just not quite my thing. I mean, the line between some of these pinks and some of these light reds is thin. And some... oh, I wouldn't deny that there's reds yeah. and light reds, and there's right. a rainbow in there. You got some some yellows. There's all kinds of stuff, but obviously the main thing that I'm I'm not I don't mind greens, oranges, uh, purples. I'm a big fan of purple. Actually, purple's like pretty pink. good. Purple's pretty good. Yeah, you know, so um, if Hello Kitty wasn't pink, you'd be on board. You'd be maybe. Fan. Um, the thing about well, it Hello is, I don't Kitty, even know... Hello Kitty is white. I don't even know what um the, the what what am I to get into? Is it like is it just a a decal or or like a phone cover? What um a Funko Pop? I, are there Hello Kitty Funko Pops? Then I guess there's got. Well, there's be, one right? in the image. Oh right? oh, I have a pop. I, I, a mildly interesting Funko Pop story. Um. <laughs> yeah. So okay. okay. So um, today I was driving back from the grocery store. I was driving through the suburbs and there was a um, there was like a garage sale and someone had all these tables and a bunch of all sorts of shit lined out for you to come and buy to get off their hands. And one thing that I noticed as I drove by is that there was like um, it must have been like three stacks, three, four stacks high and like four stacks wide of all the same Funko Pop. And what was it? Uh, yeah, what was it? Don't leave I don't know. I was driving by in a car. I didn't like. I don't know which one, <laughs> oh, but like they all, like you could tell they were all exactly the same. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going kind of slow because I was kind of looking at it. No, I was. I wasn't kind of looking. At it. I was definitely looking at it. But I, I thought to myself, I need to keep an eye out for more garage sales and yard sales because. That's a good way to get your hands on like old gaming stuff and, you know, just knickknacks and doodads, Pokemon cards and Lord of the Rings, you know, stuff like that. You know, the old old stuff that maybe kids collected and the uh, the parents are trying to get rid of like retro consoles, Game Boys, uh, that kind of thing. Old games. So I was like, mm -hmm. ah, I need to keep my eye out on a on us on a on a garage sales. What if so, they were yeah. all rag pops? Ooh, I don't know if I would do a. uh would I do a Funko Pop or vinyls? Well, vinyls. When did, are the, cool, when did your guys guys vinyls cool. come out? Any uh, second, January, I think. But okay. like, do we have to? Do you have to? Do you, like, do you understand any difference between vinyl figures in general and pop figures in general? They're little plastic things. Yeah, that we're not have pop figures. Heads. We're I fucking timeless. They're, it's all the same. It's all the same. Yeah. All what's right. the difference? I, I just it's one of those realizations where you're like fuck i was making fun of pop figures for different reasons than everyone else was i guess yeah you you What's guys just like hate plastic i guess is it yeah. <laughs> What's i only love plastic if it's in the ocean i listen choking I, a fucking sea turtle i purchased all three of your guys vinyl figures yo okay. i so much you appreciate your it. wonderful merch as well but we can yeah. still talk about whether or not we oh, hate plastic. i don't actually have yours do you have any spares i never knew that you guys What's... were selling Look, they had they did vinyl figures and plushies, Sitch. Yeah. yeah. Combo. Oh, wow. Wow. They're different things. Yeah. <laughs> uh I don't know Sweet. if we have what well, Adam has a couple extra suspended from his ceiling, <laughs> but I don't know if he has that many extra. Oh, okay. We don't have I would have bought plushies, yours if I no. knew about them. I just didn't know that you guys were. We selling told it. you about them on the show. What are you talking about? I don't know about that. <laughs> he doesn't know about that. That's why there's a we were selling ours at the same them. time you guys were selling yours. <laughs> okay. Listen, it's fine. I didn't buy their for some plushies. reason. I don't have them. Okay. I would have bought so them if I. There must have been some. I mean, I didn't buy them I intentionally, didn't. but that's different. I need to expand my collection so that I can have all my friends and acquaintances in in toy form to know they're infinitely okay. There you go. So look, um, where's I have my next question here. All right. Ooh. Let's go. Yeah. What so, else do you want to talk about? Here. Is that <laughs> your second question? We'll begin with Mahler again. Mahler, <gasps> yeah. why why don't you guys cover politics on your show? Ooh, yeah, because politics is cringe, and also Mahler has very rags. It is not your time to talk. <laughs> I just want to answer before he says something about okay. the white race. <laughs> look, you're guilt. You look, you're <laughs> okay. Look at this. That's a friend, Mahler. That's a mm -hmm. true friend. Uh, look, he's like saving it. you. He's, he's like, saving. listen, off air, Mahler just does nothing but talks about the right race. So I have to jump in. Makes me glad I'm, I'm a dog. 
Mahler, your your avatar does have a little bit of the Nazi vibe to it. Well, <laughs> well, so if I can do the white waist part, it quick, looks like I'll a sci-fi like. <laughs> The Iron Hand of Germany will come down on Z. Yeah, but I'm also paired up with a cute, cuddly dog and a friendly, very much Hitler on the famously oh, yes. side. A German doctor. Shepherd, I see. Hitler was a German Shepherd. Whenever someone looks at me and they're like, kill it, I lift up rags. I'm like, you wouldn't want to do that. Look at him. Aw. Right. So I'm your conscience. <laughs> so what? why don't you guys... um? Mahler, why don't you guys cover politics on your show? Because we cover media. Okay. We cover media. Look, Sitch, sit, we I did, we talked about this, right? Didn't we? This was like... Um, yeah, well, I know. It's just because it's interesting because there's like a lot of crossover nowadays between media and politics. And I understand if like, you know, people don't want oh, yeah. to bias their media position by making it political or bias. Maybe they don't want to turn people off in their audience. So I just I was curious as to like what's the what is the thought process? There? Hmm. Well, uh, you're asking like specifically, then why wouldn't we cover, let's say, a cringy video where two people debate over whether or not there should be like a fifteen dollar minimum wage or something like that? No, no, no. I mean, well, no. I mean, like you because know, obviously a lot of people including the people that you that you stream with like you know we talk about barbie there's a lot of political stuff that mm -hmm. you talk about star wars they talk about a lot of political stuff about well that. so what we try to do is let's say a film is all about how awesome communism is right. we we haven't really come across one yet <laughs> like but if we did and we desperately wanted to cover it hopefully we would be able to analyze it from a perspective that we we wouldn't want to basically go in saying like this movie's bad because communism is bad mm-hmm like that would be bringing in a very very strong bias. If if uh, I've said this before a couple of times, so I find like you know the, the, you know like the whole Canto bite scene in uh, TLJ. Yes. In my videos on it, I said like it's obviously trying to uh, levy criticism against sort of late stage capitalistic systems and societies that can take advantage of um, different groups, and it sort of shows you that a level of moral uh responsibility lies with more than just the darth vaders or the emperors there's the people who supply them the things that they use to to hurt people and they make money off it and they sit here in insane splendor enjoying their time and it's like okay how consistent is that with what they show us you know because like whether or not that point is fair valid or applicable to real life is not necessarily what i'm talking about i just want to know how well they execute it and they show us like a world that gets ravaged by Finn and Rose to get cleaned up by all of the slave workers and likely covered entirely for the rich people by their insurance policies that they would have in spades. They may even benefit from this whole event. And then, like, it's all well and good to present that these guys have been, you know, getting money or supplying weaponry to both the good side and the bad side. But, like, is, is that something that we need to be dealing with right now when we have the bad guys have a giant weapon that's c killing five planets, the whole systems at once? Do, don't you think, as much as you might be able to highlight, there's something to deal with here politically? It's like, do you have the time? This is in the middle of the <laughs> final gasp of the rebellion getting blown out of space. Right. They go on an adventure to talk about capital. It's like, what are you doing? So, like, there's, and that's just like a tip of the iceberg in terms of the problems with that scene. It's my attempt to say, like, it's it's disjointed, it's out of character, it doesn't line up with the theme, it actually goes against a lot of what it's trying to say, and it's just inconsistent writing, that's my issue with it. However, if I wanted to say, like, well, and now let's talk about if the idea is valid, if uh, capitalistic sort of people who sell weapons to the good guys and the bad guys of a war, are they morally dubious, should they be punished alongside the worst, you know, aspects of the people who are involved doing the most war crimes with the most weapons in, in any war, that I feel is more like maybe you guys' domain. We could mm -hmm. talk about it on EFAB, but I feel like a lot of people would feel they're like, no, I'm I'm here to see how the art represented the ideas, not Look, whether or not you think they've moral ideas. Mahler, that is totally not our domain. We would never we would never like evaluate a movie that was in favor of communism at, according to communism bad. Like we would evaluate it obviously on some movie criteria. Oh, I wasn't saying you'd necessarily yeah. do that, but you might be interested in talking about the con if a movie made a point that was quite moral regarding like if you in any way made money off a war, you deserve to be killed. If that was like a point the movie made, you guys would be like, okay, wait, let's let's talk about that. Let's take a second. Oh but yeah, that's thing. something we've covered. Yeah, totally. That's, that's not something we necessarily don't cover though. There's plenty. Of, mm -hmm. You know, like um burying the prison under snow in order to commit to whatever goal they have in Black Widow. There's political aspects to that. Should 
do prisoners like just forfeit their right to live? Like there may be some people in the world who would possibly try and push back on that. I knew Marvel fans at the time were like, well, aren't these prisoners like all horrible murder rapist people? It's like, so even in that scenario, you think that it's okay to just kill them all? Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, uh, you know, there's, there's a complicated thing there, but obviously like we want to still focus on the storyline and the efforts that the writer took to translate a message or, you know, what matches within. Um, Because I think that there's a billion different lenses, as people say, right, in terms of how you can look at something through values you have in your own life. And sure. even through talking about uh, TV shows or movies, you can often try and encourage better morals. You can be like, yeah, you should, you know, enjoy something like a Star Wars. It has plenty of uh, a moral backbone that can be inspiring and it leads you to better directions than something like, um, you know, like Glass Onion, which probably... <laughs> it leads you to blowing up art. I don't know if. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Got to burn that uh, Mona Lisa. That was awful. Yeah. So I guess what I'm saying is like we don't even not talk about it at all. But I know that a lot of people watch us not to, especially. I think that we're supposed to provide a form of escapism, and I'm totally on board with that. So like, right. if we can avoid being like this character is obviously supposed to be Trump. Trump is a pr the you know president of blah, blah, blah. it's just like blah, 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 blah. can we do we. Do we have to? Mm -hmm. And then, like, getting into whether or not uh, the film is fair or something, it can be complicated. But again, I've talked about uh, South Park's Pandaverse. We kind of talked a little bit about that, that in the episode previous episode. Very funny. Yes, I agree. Um, so, is there I politics say... in the Pandaver in that episode? A little bit. Oh well, yeah, sure. <laughs> just a tank. Social politics too. And I was about to say, um, I mean, it's just do... funny. I look, there's no politics in there. Such. So what are you talking about? <laughs> I would say as well, we obviously do talk about politics, especially mm -hmm. settled politics would right. be something that we're totally fine with. It. You you could maybe argue we, t we try we're to avoid hot abolitionists, buttons. controversial political well, issues. stuff that everybody is angry about and fighting right. over every day, all day. If someone, you know, if bringing up certain topics that are settled is, is mostly fine mm -hmm. or ones that are even partially controversial, you know, it's half and half. But we're trying to bring people in to talk about movies and to take them away from the world outside, which is right. painful and annoying. Okay, so you're saying like you want your show to be a respite, an oasis away from all these political annoyances that we all have to deal Somewhat, with. Somewhat, yes, but I have to admit, uh, as anyone would, it's like it's, it's not exactly. It can be impossible sometimes, depending sure. on what we're covering. Sure. Do you, do you just rags free? Do you guys feel the same, or it's a different take? Um, I, yeah, I I pretty much agree with that. The idea of that we're escapism. Everyone else is talking about woke this, woke that, which is fine if that's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but we really do want to focus on the storytelling elements of it. But of course, we talk about and it'll just necessarily happen, especially when we evaluate characters and how they feel about certain things. Um, stuff like what's their character um, or sorry, uh, what does a character think about X topic? And so we evaluate, well, is that moral? Would they think about it this way? Is that actually a good stance to have? And sometimes that melds in with like, what is the director or the movie, like what's the movie's message trying to tell me? And is that absurd? Uh, that kind of thing. So, you know, it happens, but it's not like our primary focus, but it is often a part of our critique and our examination of the movie. Are there ever examples where you find YouTube content creators? Like uh, there's a cottage industry on YouTube pointing out movies that are woke. This movie's woke. This movie is... It's terrible because it's woke. Is there any example that you have where someone has done that, pointed out a movie that was woke that you thought, well, that movie really isn't woke? Oh, like, yeah. What, what is the law? Oh, okay. Oh. Go ahead. But, What's a. Would, 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 I don't know if Fringy and Rags would begin with, uh, would agree with this, but I feel like the number one would be Dead Space. I know it's not a movie, but. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, hell, movie. that was baffling to us. That was insane. <laughs> So I, I haven't seen Dead Space. I don't it's know what it is. But we'll... All right, well, Dead Space okay. is a movie oh, We're not referring Brian to the Cranston hit 1991 film starring Brian yeah, Cranston. That's right. <laughs> so, but what is, what is, explain it to me. What is the, what is, what do people think is woke and how is it not woke? Uh, does anyone else want to do it? I can do it. Um, well, I mean, what, do, so much you know just because we're talking about the, the, the 2023 the, the remake. The remake, yeah. The, the remake 2023 remake of the game Dead Space. Okay. Yes. Uh, which we highly recommend to so everyone it's a good playing. Game. Highly Look, recommend. Look, I don't like one of those games. games. Of what are you talking about? <laughs> well, this is awful. Slip through the cracks. Indulge just a little bit. It's a cheat day. How dare you recommend a woke game, Frangi? How's <laughs> look? Convince me this isn't. I feel it's woke. Convince me it's not. Um. Well, sorry. 
Dead Space is like a it's a science fiction horror game uh-huh. that revolves around like these ancient alien artifacts called markers that uh, turn mm-hmm. people into horrific monsters. Mm-hmm. Um, and Isaac Clarke is this engineer, this very salt of the earth regular guy who just gets embroiled in this crazy circumstance that is well beyond the scope of what he's prepared for. And now, now are these monsters colonialists? <laughs> sort of actually yes actually uh, it's yeah i mean it, oh it, i knew it there's a lot of don't, this on the human it's woke. Uh, yes they are the it's the, totally uh, woke of the, of the ishimura they they have a lot of different perspectives but the but the point is that isaac he's just doing his, the best he can to save the world and save his friends and his girlfriend um from the colonialists unfortunately just, uh, his girlfriend uh is insufficiently she's too old um She's too old. <laughs> what does that mean? So, well, remember, uh, she's, old, she's too old. She's, she oh, looks look too at old. This. She she's too old. Um, what does that even mean? She she just she just she looks too old, and that's too many wrinkles. That's pretty. That's pretty woke of them. Is the de- desexification of women? Um. Yeah. There so, were so also they made the her ugly. Main, the she's not main, attractive. Uh, she is actually. Uh, but they they did two things with the remake. What they did was they used the voice actors of the original characters. They modeled the characters in game after the voice actor, uh, the voice actors. Oh. So you have Gunnar Wright. Uh, he's the actor for Isaac Clark, and you have Tanya Clark, who is the voice actress for uh, Nicole Brennan. And so they do their roles, and they do quite a good job. But some people were very upset uh shockingly upset that nicole wasn't hot enough anymore uh because uh tanya clark is 51 and she's a very good looking 51 but she was 51 and so they used the voice actress and they expanded the character and made her better and gave her a lot more stuff um but i guess she was she she wasn't as hot as the young character from the original so people got up in arms about that and that they were very very upset um, which is, is, I is think that ridiculous. like I'm, is that woke or or not woke? It's not. It's I don't. It's not. Woke. So, so I'm, I'm, to do my best representation of the other person's argument, it would be the the making women less attractive, manifying women is a a thing people are very very concerned about, and they believe this is an obvious example of it. And that any it's binary, any woke stuff in a game, quote unquote, is is that means it's woke. It's done. That's a rot. I mean, I agree. So, I want all women in all games to be very hot. And look, I don't she like should that. be That's as hot as possible. Sitch. It's like no, no, no. a fictional I'm what, game. I'm not saying what you said. I'm saying what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I agree. <laughs> what I'm saying is that women have an obligation to look fuckable to me. <laughs> look, yes. fictional fictional women, I mean, kind of do. I mean, you, yes. I know you're joking. They, what is they, the point are. otherwise? <laughs> no. What is the point of women in fiction otherwise? Is there one? So, but Men, for reference, the, same the craziest way. thing was like I need my myself, juice twinks. Um, myself, metal rags, bringing like we blasted through the game. Had so much to say about Love like it. how respectful it is or what it did for changes, the graphical update, the mechanical updates, mm-hmm. and like the darkness of it, the mapping so huge. And then it was like, what's the main thing everyone's talking about is that she's not as fuckable as she was in the previous. Oh, one. and also that uh, wasn't it also that Kendra's boobs were smaller? Yes. Um, I I'm oh. actually not ready to confirm that. People said that. But I don't even know if that's true. Oh, I mean, it let's... could just be a creative Kendra, choice. So. Kendra is a character, and she was attractive in the first game, and she's attractive in this game. But I guess some people think that her breast size is maybe like not quite as big, um, <laughs> which doesn't even mean they're less attractive. I don't know. Um, but I guess some people were upset about that. So I don't know. It's kind of that was that was really. It weird. was just a really bizarre thing because it was like such a fixation on stuff that just seemed like. Like, well, we're we we focusing, like we focusing on the video game it. itself, you know, like this yep. amazing horror game that looks incredible, has great sound design, well, has you really like cathartic gameplay combat. Was the first thing to talk about, and the story was the second, and maybe atmosphere was third, and and maybe like graphics were fourth. But it's like, no, 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 it's the hotness of the women comes number one, and then there's a huge chasm, and then maybe you could talk about mechanics. And I remember the same thing happened with uh, Resident Evil uh, 4, that people were saying that Ashley wasn't yep. sufficiently attractive either. That got um, squashed, I think, eventually, because yes. people yeah. fucking loved that remake. Well, yeah, Which is crazy, because it should have happened. Remake. 
Dead Space as well, but it seemed like that one lasted longer. The Nicole complaints. The the boob size shrinkage of a character is a very important thing, and I don't like that you guys are just brushing that aside. Okay. If that did happen, we need. To <laughs> I agree off. with Rags. Can't they make uh, that bigger, optional? I feel does not like mean better on. They should put a slider whatever. for all female <laughs> characters like that you can just customize to whatever you want. Well, okay, but let me ask this. I mean, they question. could do a slider for the gentleman too. Well, I mean, let's not be sexist here, do right? Do you think? Yeah, bold slider. Um, <laughs> I never bold played Dead Space, size. so I don't know specifically with Dead Space or or the Resident <laughs> Evil Four remake. But the clock needs that bulge. But don't. It seems like in some media that there definitely has been uh, a weird thing to make female characters look like not as conventionally attractive as they used to look. You know, ten years ago, that definitely seems yes, to be a thing that's happened. I would agree that in a lot of uh, games and stuff, there does seem to be this almost hesitation to make women sexually attractive. Um, mm -hmm. You see a lot of very masculine or not, at least not feminine Fism. women in a lot of the games and stuff, uh, which is sometimes distracting. I would say uh, another sort of thing you can angle this with as well, and this happens in movies, is that we don't want to show. You know, like, we still have movies that get people naked, but movies that, like, used to sort of, that are, like, PG, but show a lot of ass shots or enough skin that it's kind of suggestive, but nothing explicit, they want to stop doing that entirely as well, right? There's been, like, a mm -hmm. big effort to be, like, women are not, what was that Frosk thing? She's like, women don't exist to be sexy or whatever. It, well, yeah. yeah, that. But then, um, you know, not just the fact that that's been happening, right? In in many forms, we've got um, people recently were, were comparing the old Mortal Kombat characters uh, to the new I, ones. Yeah, the, yeah. Well, um, well, there is oh, the, yeah, the double standard, I guess, is the more... <laughs> that's where I was going like, with this, The yes. male characters can be topless, but the women characters is always no. like dialed back a little bit more i'm a sexy supremacist i'm fine with men and women looking hot that's fine with me you go right ahead uh i have a preference but you know what i shouldn't be serving just me in any case it's kind of strange when yeah you get told and almost preached at that like it's enough of women like in the mcu or star wars being sexualized now they're gonna be wrapped up you're like oh, okay and then they actually still have mandates. Men need to have the one scene at least where they get their shirt off. And the, mm. to the point where, because we, we've talked about on EFAB, like Chris Hemsworth is apparently relatively uncomfortable with the fact that he has to keep doing that. Uh, Drax, the, De Batista wanted to stop being shirtless. Uh, wow. And that, that's why that's why in Guardians 3 he's wearing the, um, the Ravager outfit for most of it. Hmm. Um, so so it's, it's the kind of thing where it's just like, yeah, maybe we should... Instead of being like, well, yeah, but you're a man, so you don't, it doesn't matter. We can sexualize you. It's like, uh, okay, that's, that's fucking odd. So, yeah, obviously, we're, we, we would be concerned on and one they half do it all the being time, consistent, the, 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 and then the other being retarded. Like, it's a stupid thing to do in the first place, but they don't even do it properly. Like, they don't do it fairly. Let's, mm -hmm. So, it seems like your position is the game is woke. But you're why okay with you that because why, <laughs> why would the position be woke? How did you do that? What well, look, it, look that's what it sounds. Look, it sounds like you're saying it is woke, but you're giving it a pass. No, it isn't it's fun woke. to play. How did you? How, how did you get that how? out of what we said? Look, I. I'm <laughs> You Adam is just spitting the cheeky. truth. What do you? What, really what, you, what, you look, what, what are you what talking about? You're saying you're saying it's first of all. You're saying they made everyone ugly. They didn't because they don't want to objectify women. We never said that. Okay. You did say that. Play back the tape. Those yeah, are the what? words that you said. Sitch, help me out <laughs> here. What's every going on? Every character is ugly. Even the necromorphs are ugly now. Well, well wait, 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 wait. So wait, we're going to the serious thing about it. It's weird, the whole, because you brought up the Mortal Kombat thing, where it's like, you know, the men can be wearing skimpy outfits and sexually objectified as much as possible, and it's fine. And the women, it's like, they have to all be wearing, like, as many coats and layers of clothing as possible. And it's weird, because I actually kind of did this as like a somewhat joking tweet, but it was like my fucking biggest tweet ever was, you know, IGN made a, a, a video where they were talking about um, posting ass shots of Venom from the new Spider-Man movie. Right, and right, he's got yeah. this big, thick, juicy, wobbly ass. Mm. And I said, it's so weird that we exist in this time period where you can objectify sexually men to any degree and everyone just cheers. Oh, but if it was like, if that well, was a you woman's... get the Kotaku tweets and all that yeah, about yes. top you 10 sexiest the... Leon yes. mods and yeah, stuff like that. The and they bitch and whine yeah. about how a woman wore a bikini in a game. Yeah. And if, if IGN did that and it was a woman's butt, um, that guy would have been fired. 
It would have been like a like a massive campaign about sexism in IGN, sexism in games. It would have like literally been a firestorm of fucking controversy if the genders had been reversed on that character. And it's super weird to me that this is the current environment that we live in. And in Spider-Man, they even brought up, um, you know, people have been talking about how they made MJ look uh, less attractive and made her look like like the head writer or something in the game on top of that. Um. She does look shockingly. She weird. was not the head writer. Uh, like, oh, who remember, was the woman that they were pointing to? Um, I remember people comparing the photos, and I was like, "Oh, she does look like her a lot." And then I saw someone else saying, "Yeah, but she's not like uh, got heavy." Inf- I don't know what her role was, but I remember someone saying like people are not. Uh, I feel, but again, like, role. why? Mm, why okay. are we just talking about it's the fact like that a... Spider-Man Two is like only twenty hours, and it's an open world game that you can beat it in like. <laughs> that quickly and that it's not super diverse and varied in terms of uh the experience it has to offer why is everybody fixated on well such okay so here's thing? but here's the question for me i have for you do you buy the so some people would say that the reason they think that there's been a lack of or the quality of games and movies and tv shows have gone down is because they're hiring people that are so woke pandering that that's their concern as opposed to the concern of making a quality product and they might say that in relation to Spider-Man 2. Do you find that argument persuasive at all? Um, I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like in terms of my experience with playing Spider-Man 2, like, mainly my observations about it would to do with, like, it as a video game <laughs> rather mm-hmm. than that uh, what it offers as a story. I don't know. That wasn't... Like that's the that's the conversation I'm just more interested in. Saying the story sucked, so you didn't even think about it as a story. Um, <laughs> it's not amazing. Um, like I, the fact that it gets compared to God of War Ragnarok is pretty like wow, yeah. really? Okay. Um, but I don't know. I was I was way more Another interested in the conversation about like what it offers as a as an experience as a video game. Um, mm-hmm. I think that's a way more relevant conversation, particularly for like Sony games at the moment. Um. It feels like Sony games in particular are starting to exclusively sort of occupy a, a similar space in terms of what they have to offer that's like a lack of variety compared to what you'd get was, on um, Nintendo, for instance. Just to clarify, was the question, were you asking for any, like, does he believe that it is possible that uh, it is fair to sort of have the point of view that people who are, uh, quote unquote, like bought into woke ideology, uh, as, as soon as how you put it, is that that can affect the like in a in a sort of tangential way in a lot of ways the writing quality, the execution of gameplay mechanics, the the tone, well, the atmosphere. The you're graphics, asking whatever. a far oh, well, more well, uh, fair and nuanced question. My question um, is more that people ask, say specifically, they make a very declarative statement that the fact that these writers or programmers care about wokeness is why. Like the focus on wokeness is is why they're not focused on making the game good. Um, I think that it is preferable that when people are entering into like these sort of creative endeavors, that there's more of a, I guess, a stricter focus on uh what's best for the story, like what are what for these characters, for what we're trying to create. Um, I dislike it more when we sort of come in with these askew kind of objectives, whatever they might be, whether it comes to like specific practices for monetization, like we've seen with like the new Modern Warfare, right? That game being completely like rushed out the door uh, because they wanted a new Call of Duty game this year, probably because they needed something to prop up Warzone. And then you end up with something that's very creatively compromised. Um, Yeah, I think I think I would just generally prefer like... (laughs) less and less instances of i guess what you would say is like creative compromise stemming from whatever it may be even if it includes you know like i guess like desires for certain political advocacy that people want to do with like the stories that they're telling mm-hmm. and there, Have you, i think uh, there um, is an element to every like if you hire if you're a company and you hire someone to make sure your game is fucking diverse enough that's a coder you didn't hire that's a balance tester that you didn't hire that's a texture artist that you didn't hire that's like that's like an actual like a real person job that you are not hiring because you did that bullshit yeah if i could go a little presumably further than free i would just say yes as an answer to your question such but the it's worth mentioning that these biases go in all directions as far as i'm concerned and all of them can damage uh, the core aspects of making something good whether it be a game book tv show movie whatever Mm -hmm. for example if someone was to be like I'm going to make the best fucking Snow White to own the libs. It's going to have all of the... And then, like, the, the whole thing is to just be counterculture to maybe Disney, for example. It's like, okay, but, like, are you 
do you care about like writing a good story do you care about the you know faithful nature of the source do you are you gunning for like good actors and actresses are you gunning for hiring cast members that will promote a particular idea it's like this can all crumble in many ways the example i used to give all the time was like if michael bay told you like my only concern is getting scenes set up that i can blow things up and i don't really care about the story but like okay that's a problem too <laughs> like all of the all these focuses can absolutely distract and destroy from the overall product what we want to point out is the when you start you like false positives like there's several people who uh even in chat now have been saying like efap will ignore the flaws if they like the thing it's like no our whole point is that you're seeing flaws that don't exist because you you like your patent software has gotten so fucked that you'll spot it anyway and that's just a matter of like cleansing biases it happens for example if you start up a new movie and it's like this is a superhero movie and she's gonna kick ass a lot of people will sign off immediately it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And it's like, I know, I already know, because it's built by these people. They know what they're doing. It's going to be a girl being girl, pal, blah, blah, blah. Some people be like, no, 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 let's give it a chance. And then you find out like the there's a character that says like, man, I love working with you because you're so smart, funny, and awesome. That might be enough to turn people off because it's like, good God, the writing's so bad. But it's like, it, it's, it's going to be a certain amount of ticked boxes. And Nicole being 51 and representative of that is absolutely laughable. Like, mm -hmm. Uh, there are there are going to be aspects that we get, uh, you know, we did shit tons of coverage of Batwoman, right? And it would be like, nah. there would be a new character in the police force. It's it's just a, a guy and a white guy who's like, hello, I'm new sergeant. And we're all like, he's going to be evil. He's evil. Yeah, he's going to be evil. <laughs> he's sex evil. And then he was. We were like, yeah, he was evil. That's, that's how it goes. And then it'd be a new girl character. We'd have like, a, a, probably like a 60% bet of her being gay and she was it was fucking nuts like all yeah the i don't know where all the people in the bat what girl universe come from everyone's one of the main, gay uh main characters uh like didn't she have a husband and he just like disappeared randomly and then they like made reference to how she might be gay and we were just like how did <laughs> how did it's like the one straight character she's gay too and then of course like you know we so we if if one was to say like that that would be examples of woke ideology destroying storytelling we'd be like well yeah we think that's dumb as fuck yeah it's, but, like, i noticed we, it's we weird i know it's the same it for, thing um, I, I consider it important to and i assume you guys have done it where it'd be like people like this thing is this thing and you're not admitting it because you're like scared or something like no you're just being retarded this isn't woke well I, no one's accused us of being too scared to announce something is woke <laughs> but i mean i, um, I remember well, um, people uh, it i must didn't have think been a mario, movie that you like, disagreed on it yeah there was because like you know mario was one of the things people were like, is it woke Wait, and, you know, what? Oh, and, yeah, right. That's and, right. People, and me and that. Adam were on the side that it's, you know, I, we didn't say that it was woke. We didn't think it was correct to say it was woke. Even though it had, like, girl boss elements, I don't think it reached the standard of wokeness. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that's, it had that's my elements. That's my question is, what right. is the event horizon for wokeness? Well, it's like, kind when of... does it's it like, rise listen, to the woke It's like, it's label. like pornography, okay? You know I'll when know you see it? know when I see it. Oh, well, okay. well, it's kind of like what you were saying with Batgirl is very similar to I don't know if you guys watched Sandman. It was and I only it was only weird because I noticed it. I was like, wait a minute, why is every almost every couple in the show that weren't like bad people were either interracial or gay, and I, it bothered me that I noticed that because I want to live in the liberal, colorblind, <laughs> genderblind, uh, sexuality blind universe. It ain't the late nineties anymore. Sick. Yes, but I noticed. I'm like, wait a minute. This is so apparent. I'm noticing it. It was the same thing oh, I when I watched the second episode of Loki, where there's a scene. No, I guess it was the first episode of Loki. There's a scene where, like, the the I forget the character's name. There's like the black security guard lady who's now like a main character, I guess, even though she was kind of just like a secondary character in the first season. And she's giving this impassioned speech to the judges who are in charge of the TVA about how it's wrong to like kill the literally trillions of people that they're killing. And I'm like, who is this person? Like you have Owen, you have Owen Wilson right there, accomplished actor who's a very good actor. Why is he not giving this amazing speech? And I went, oh, wait a minute. Everyone at the table who's all making important decisions right now are all women. Women and one of them is disabled, and yeah, it's, it's yeah, yeah. And I'm like, strange. oh, and then it bothers me that I'm even thinking about that. I'm like, is that why they did it? Is that really what's going on here? Is it just like we need to have women be in charge of the TVA? Like, oh my god, they're trying to indoctrinate you secretly. It, just, it bothers That's me that I on. even have to think about this because well, like, they won't well, shut up about it on. all the time. Disney yeah. goes and talks about that shit all the time. 
Well, and, and I, then I you like that. I mean, I get to access to a lot of like stuff through Real BBC of um, like interviews and comments from the creators, and it is wild how much they're <laughs> like, you know, please watch our thing because it's got there's women, women in it, or because minority. there's yeah, whatever. And it's just put like, a woman oh. in it and make it gay. <laughs> What's that from? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's that from? That's like yeah, a but, new meme. Well, I so to sort of answer my own question that I asked like ten minutes ago, I don't. I don't think it's an issue of like, there's a weird thing that is going on with how a lot of characters are being written. I don't know why it is that way where if they want to put more strong women in shows and in games and what TV shows, that'd be fine. It's just weird that they've decided to not have them very often go on the same hero journey arc that you would generally see a male character go. And that's what I don't understand. Why do they have to be, the perfect person from the get-go who doesn't struggle and why does every male have to be like not every male but why do so many times do all the males have to be bad because if um, you show women struggling women are not going to want to enter stem field sit you know showing a woman growing uh, means that she had room to grow which meant that she wasn't fine just the way she was something that i found really interesting was um going back and re-watching just a bunch of movies from the particular movie that really reminded me of it was uh we re-watched anastasia which is a great movie that movie's fucking um, great you, you guys seen that right anastasia the animated like a film million, from the 90s the animated one yeah, yeah. You're like very you should have said ago. once upon a September, you fool. Um, remember it. But uh, it, it was it was because it seems like a sort of a, a perspective that for whatever reason just seems to be accepted is there weren't any like great female characters. Furthermore, there weren't any great like confident, assertive female characters until like the last 10 years. And then you just go back, rewatch these movies from like the 90s and the 2000s and the 80s and like the 70s. And you just it's just like you guys fucking you lied to me. <laughs> You lied to me <laughs> and or yourselves, you know. Like it's it's so it's Which kind is, of strange. If it was like we got it, we nailed it, where everybody was written as characters and that was that. Yeah, when I was a kid characters. growing up, I'd be like, oh yeah, Captain Amelia and Treasure Planet and mm -hmm. Akima and Titan AE and all of these, Princess all of these Fiona? fucking movies, Princess Fiona and of course Anastasia, all these characters. Is like they were just women and they were written well as good characters. Well, it was great. It was funny. We were uh, me and Freddie recently watched RoboCop One. It was before yeah. I uh, was going to be <laughs> playing the game for the first time. I was like, "Oh, I may as well rewatch it." Mm -hmm. Can I, uh, you know, a, a bit of a refresh? And this uh, his partner in the film at the beginning, Lewis, is, is introduced, and she's like, you can tell they were having this like she's she may be a woman. You better watch out. And she like I think she like punches the fuck out of a, one of the guys they've got. There was like you know one of the like, not prisoners. Um, one of the like criminals that they've got there or whatever it's yeah. definitely the, you can tell the movie is like hey she's she may be a girl but she can take care of herself that sort of thing and it's like oh yeah because that's what it was in the 80s and 90s and early yeah. 2000s the girl characters weren't like we were moving from a and i can't believe it, i keep coming back to it shrek is like yeah. the movie for this <laughs> where yeah. it was yeah, it's, like it's a perfect you know example. the damsel in distress what if she was she was able to kick ass and you're like oh okay that's kind of what buffy's premise is and it was a it was a better time because mm -hmm. they wouldn't just have them go from being damsel in distress in distress to like amazing character that had no flaws fiona had shit tons of flaws that she goes on a serious arc in the whole movie she has a bunch of things to think about how many mm -hmm. you know misconceptions her whole life she's led to believe one thing and she needs to learn a completely different thing um, and it's something that people highlight is modern arcs for female characters are so botched now. And there's a weird collection of them all being excellent. And then they learn to be excellent plus by the end. And it's yeah. usually not because Marvel. they learn a new skill, not because they understand something about themselves or the world. They just go, they, they're just like, I was better the whole time. That, that, you were right true. all along. You were right all along, which just feels so antithetical to the general <laughs> idea of yeah, storytelling, um, which is a character has a lack of something that they acquire mm -hmm. through adversity. And if, uh, it, you know, as Fring was about to say, I think there that it's kind of encapsulated by Captain Marvel, who has this moment in the film where she's falling through the sky and she's like, just got to believe in myself and then I can fly. And it's like, what? Mm -hmm. There was no reference to being able to fly. Yeah. And then she can fly. And you're like, how yeah. do how could you fly? It's kind of like fucking Wonder Woman in eighty four. She just can. She can fly now. That's she could just fly. You're like they fly now. How can you fly? And then uh, America Chavez. How can she beat Wanda? It's like she just can now. Doctor Strange said you can do it, and then she's like, I can do it now. 
and then it's okay. the 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 like the speech right the impact like because i was thinking of sylvie because obviously loki's on my mind it's like there was no moment for that it was just that loki telling her how awesome she was which yeah, just feels no, like the cheapest way of building a like in a character is here's a character that you like which i don't like new loki he's not the same loki anyway but well, yeah, even yeah, assuming yeah. you did you like him right and he likes her so you should like her <laughs> like as if that's how and you build likable the, the problem on the male side of the characters is like if you take doctor strange it's like so they write an arc where he feels he has to be in control of everything and he needs to start like understanding that's not what he should do in each of these cases because it's like disconnecting him from humanity or something it's like oh that's an idea they do it horribly but it's like where's <laughs> that idea for the female characters what's going on why mm -hmm. aren't you giving them something to learn something to understand about themselves to grow with it's like well the assumption right now is that a lot of the writers are afraid to that they're like well you know we wouldn't want to imply that the woman has a problem she needs to solve like what the hell yeah i think shrek is a great example another another good example I think of his Kill Bill because if that movie came out yeah. now, everyone would say that movie's woke. It's got a woman who's a strong lady assassin. She literally kills like a hundred people in the first movie with a sword. But when you watch it, it doesn't come across that way at all. And I think some people might be tempted you... to say, well, it's because it's from the 2000s, blah, blah, blah. But it's not. It's because when you watch the movie and you watch the character, you see that she is vulnerable. I mean, the movie starts off with her in an incredibly vulnerable position, you know, in an incredibly uh, dangerous and scary uh, situation. And she takes it the way a normal person would take it emotionally. And you see her like act and seem like a normal person. She's just not a person who's like, I am this like immortal impervious character and i'm becoming more in, immortal and impervious character and even in the scene where she's like you know chopping up all the people it's like Very you see her get answer. hurt you see her get more tired like it just it feels like a real character who's going through something realistic well i mean as realistic as a kill bill could be <laughs> right but i'm just saying compared to like the captain yeah the captain marvel you know character of just like oh you just have to believe in yourself more well, like, no 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 you know that's not what's happening here have you not touched on something pretty interesting there do you believe the statement that if that came out today it would be considered woke people so i think a lot of the people that that would look at it and they would write it off as woke instantly and yeah. then they would go into it with that problem? bias and see it as woke yeah it's a problem so that's something that I feel the EFAP tries to balance out with that uh, a lot of other places don't really care to well, address. Well, uh, remember Arcane being woke, right? As like a, a statement. So it's like, damn, this is, man, yeah, you this is where everything out. <laughs> like... uh, people wonder why we don't like use it as a category because I don't know what it means most of the time. A lot of people have said Arcane is an example of something that's woke but good. Mm-hmm. And that's, that like threw it up for me. I was like, well, I don't yeah, fucking what does know what that it means mean? anymore. I don't know What's what it means woke anymore. woke but good? I guess something that has woke politics, but is still a good show in spite of it. I'm assuming is the argument, right? Would that then is that what people would say about if like aliens was to come out today? It would be woke. See, good. No, that's the thing. People, but I would I would argue that people are using it improperly because I would say okay. Kill Bill and aliens are not is not woke. Aliens is woke. I mean, well, but so to bring us back, then that's what we're trying to say about Dead Space remake. It's not woke. Right. It's, it's not uh, with with the definitions that we believe people use. But at the same time, that can change between the person you were talking with, and that's why we'd rather get their definition first. Yeah, and that's the difficulty. And you kind of, we were kind of talking to Anna and Shu about this. Is like it's that's why I made the joke about pornography. You know, you know it when you'll see it. Like it's kind of nebulous. What exactly? woke we, is I, I don't it doesn't mean it's not real means. but it's you just have to, difficult you have to, to define down. that yeah whatever if i ever get into a conversation about wokeness with someone it's going to be the leading question is could you define wokeness for me exactly yeah right right do but you that, think I mean, alien would be defined as woke? because i kind of feel like the the underwear scene in the end kind of like <laughs> destroys the idea that I mean, Ripley's... well, it was weird. Um, Adam, as an yeah. example, the the creator of, I think, the director of uh, Black Widow was talking about how like it's 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 wrong how much like the camera rides up Scarlett Johansson's ass in a lot of her movies in the MCU. That's but wrong. There were, like, several, <laughs> there were like several ass shots in Black Widow. They're pretty blatant, and I was like, I don't understand. Like it's like the male gaze. It's like, well, the, is this is the female gaze? Like what's going on? Guys, right? yeah, I mean, you're gonna hire Scarlett Johansson for a reason, right? I mean, well, well, so, I don't think laughing. any of us yeah. need to talk about whether or not it's okay to make use of how hot she is. It's like uh, thumbs up. But if your director's gonna be like, it's disgusting that that was done, and then does it herself, it's just like okay. Look, mm -hmm. it's harder it? to happening? fight an alien in your underwear. 
Is so, it? I mean, it's a character growth well, thing, I don't know. obviously. Well, listen, when they the director signed on for the Black Widow movie, in the contract, it's stipulated there must be at least 20 ass shots in the script, okay, oh, or in the, in the final well, and also They do stipulate that kind of stuff in I contracts. Know. Yeah. But I like, wouldn't be surprised. Uh, remember, you. I think you guys agreed with the whole raw point of view, right? Which is that if there's any one example, then the whole thing is fucked. So if, if we have a female character that's giving orders to the uh, superior male character and she like overrules him and then like a droid has to make that happen. I'm talking about the early parts of Alien. And then that guy is sent to go and fight the alien himself and fucking dies and then the woman beats it. That's pathetic. Mm -hmm. Look at them with their woke propaganda. Yeah, <laughs> but, but like, that's... That's the problem is that because there is this real thing, even though it's nebulous and hard to pin down, that is happening, it kind of poisons people's minds to, to see it in places where maybe it doesn't exist. Right. Yeah, that's the problem. And I think that, I mean, because I there were elements of Mario that would definitely be, you know, woke. Peach saves herself, right, from Bowser. She's like super competent at doing the obstacle course and all this stuff. But I don't think the movie overall is woke. I wouldn't characterize it as such. And if that movie came out, like I could very easily see that movie, the exact plot of that movie coming out in 1995 or 2005 or 2003 or something. And no one, everyone just see it as like, oh, you know, obviously you can't have Peach just be rescued by a damsel anymore because it's night. It's the night. It does. Um, it's a, do you do you think it's woke that Peach is a playable character in the new Mario game? Uh, it, so I don't think it is now. But I mean, she was playable in Mario Two, like back in the day. That's true. But look at you go. Very good. Look at you go. <laughs> I mean, and she was that was the character most people played because she could fly for some reason. Her dress now made her can't. fly, you know. That's uh, yeah, and it's now, in her Smash Bros. as well. That's right. That's, well, yeah, that's right. And back in good old 2001. So I still don't know. I, I can't really say when a movie passes the woke threshold. It sounds like it can have. A number of infractions as long as it's well surely good. it's fair to say everyone would draw the line difficulty and that's why it makes the conversation uh, confusing sometimes yeah but we're yes. movie critics we're important people okay we shape the perception like wh where do we draw the line well, well where do you draw the it, line it's, <laughs> i mean it's similar to the when does a movie become bad like you can point out all the bad yeah. things in a movie, but like, what's the tipping point? When does well, a movie go from good to bad? Mm -hmm. Look, a movie. Uh, I'm more. I'm clearer on when a movie is bad than when a movie is woke. To be honest with you. Yeah, but like, the 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 reason I think people have a difficulty with the question you're asking, which is a good question, but it's difficult to answer. It's kind of like the, you know, when does a heap of sand become not a heap if you right. remove yeah, each, yeah, yeah. each grain of sand? Like, at what no, point is that yeah. exact line? And I I don't know if there's an answer to the question. Let's well, just make so it, it an even like then, five infractions. What do you guys think? <laughs> it does sound like that you guys are definitely not in the camp of like any one example found means the entire thing is wrong. No. Of yeah, course not. that would yeah. be okay. retarded. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, no, that's not my position. I mean. <laughs> Look, yeah, I, it's difficult. Yeah. It's di like if a movie is really, really good and you know how these movies are made now. A lot of times, a lot of different voices are well, making a the movie. Like if one voice gets some woke line in the movie but the movie's fantastic i'm not going to throw a good movie away right so there's, a, there's a couple of line. uh what you could call very interesting variables that could come with this right so like two questions one would be what if the movie as far as you guys are concerned is is incredible clean and just the best thing ever but all the creators are saying all of the most like the worst possible things in terms of modern ideas of culture and, and whatever have you but also what if the things that are said in the movie are said by the villainous character as in, like the the things you considered woke are said by a bad guy. Uh, so you know both of those scenarios. What do you do with those sort of thing? Which well, what holds are, the most weight? Well, you're you're those are two different. I'm assuming those are two different scenarios because that'd be weird. If oh yeah, the yeah, same yeah. Scenario, right? No, I said two I mean, questions. Yeah, right, right. Well, is are the in the hypothetical like I don't care what the creators are saying. I mean, I'll, I can I'll still criticize them, say, oh, their movie is great, but they fucking suck or their politics but, suck. Yeah, I think yeah. most celebrities' politics suck, so that's not really a surprise to me. Um, but if yeah, it's, no, I, as long I, as I it's not like, yeah, as long as it's not shoehorned into the, whatever well, the example there would be, um, that's obnoxious. House of the Dragon, it the way it was sold by one of the showrunners is not at all what the show is. And it, it was bizarre to listen to his opinions about it. What, like, what did he um, say? Well, you, you would say like, uh, you know, the, the, the show is very much women powered and that it shows a lot of like how male, do you know, like there's some lines with some characters, this is actually kind of doubles up on my point because, um, mm -hmm. I think Rainice and uh, I forget which character she's saying this to, but they talk about how men 
are the reason for Rhaenyra. so much death and destruction. Um, oh, because, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, I don't know. That might have been... Uh, well, one of them says we need death. to be in men's lives to direct them properly because they're fucking crazy. The show really proves that out. fucking wrong because the well, women so are this is what I'm the saying. Conflict. The women... Right. Yeah, but this, this applies again to <laughs> yeah. the finale of Game of Thrones as well. Like It's right. like the women have done possibly the most genocide. <laughs> like, I'm just saying. Well, look, yeah. look, you bring up an interesting point, Mahler, because I do feel in the context of, of that show, they... It's really more the character saying it than the than breaking the fourth wall and preaching to the audience. I do well, feel like it's in the interest of the character to say that kind of thing. We're in a weird time where like if that show came out 15 years ago, I would say, oh, that's just the character's perspective. I don't know now if the writer thinks that that's true and is just too stupid to understand their own story that they're crafting. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's interesting because is, is that enough to then uh, sort of sully the show or is it like, well, they created something they didn't realize they created? They got it accidentally right. I, I don't think that's... Yeah, as, if it's that's not what the show's doing and it's very clear it's not what's happening, regardless of whether they know it or not, I don't think that sullies the show. If the show is good, you know, regardless. Sure. I mean, George yeah. R. R. Martin yeah. is very... I mean, he's... I don't know if he'd say woke, but he's very feminist. And obviously there is like the feminist theme in, in both Game of Thrones and in House of Dragon. I mean, House of Dragons all started because, you know, the men won't uh, recognize a woman to be in charge. And that's fine that that's an element of it. But beyond that element of it, as you brought up, I wouldn't see how the show is woke. I mean, the women are doing a lot of fucked up shit. It's not like it's... It's that's, not like that's all the guys. A conversation the that guys happened. Here. A lot of people were splintered on it, and then, and yeah. you know, all I was concerned about was just like, well, it was a fucking damn well written show, uh, uh, at least by comparison to something that comes out of the MCU. So, I should probably well, try to encourage it compared to a lot of other shit that goes. Like, because I know that you don't necessarily share that, but you understand the point of view. I mean, it's in... better than most things that come out. I'm not going to disagree with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, uh, and also, it... we had Ring of Power come out at the same time, which was just like a rings complete... of power. <laughs> rings, <laughs> of power. <laughs> rings of power. That's right. Which, rings of power. That was kind of interesting because, like, people were predicting it to go in a different direction because there was an assumption of wokeness. When I don't. I think it was just bad and I don't it wasn't, think it was yeah, necessarily there's not a lot of stuff that I'd call issue. wokeness in there. Yeah. There's but like a it little was, thing. It is mostly it just like normal movie bad. It's just normal shit. Right, but see, but then hmm. it, it like, like I don't understand what the creators of the show are thinking because people were like thinking. when I watched the first episode, <laughs> yeah, there anything. were no thoughts. <laughs> well, I think you I think you might have been on the show rags. Uh, I made this prediction. I said I'm predicting that Gladriel is wrong and that she is going to be responsible essentially for creating uh, uh, Sauron. And a lot of people said no, because she, and I don't think you said this, but a lot of other people were saying, no, 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 no way. Cause the show's woke. She can't be wrong. She has to be right. And then well, I turned out to be completely correct about that. I mean, but she, does yeah, the she show turned, even she turned out to be that? completely correct. And it's kind of framed as if everyone was really, like dumb to not go along with her. The show treats her as if she's right in all the things that she does along the way, jumping off the boat before Valinor, all the crap she does in Numenor regarding her and the queen there and the old crazy king and breaking out of prison and all that stuff. It all treats her as if she is totally justified and correct in everything that she does. I mean, the 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 scene uh, where her and Elendil are in the like the 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 lore temple in Numenor and like the plot is just like delivered to her on, on onto her lap right in one of the most clunkiest exposition scenes I've ever seen in my fucking life yeah it's um, horrible but at the end Galadriel knows about Sauron and his in his plan and all that stuff that that he's doing and interestingly the writers decide to have Galadriel not tell anyone that she knows that Halbrand is actually Sauron and that he had a very integral part in creating the rings of power and he's Sauron and the, that that I don't even know what they're they want me to think by having her do that basically making her mm -hmm. responsible for Sauron's rise to power and all that stuff like it's her fault and I don't know I think I don't think the show wants me to come away with the correct conclusion that she is a horrific, terrible, <laughs> monstrously immoral character for doing that. And that she only does it to, I don't know, I guess, pr protect her own skin or something. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know what the show wants me to think about that. Mm -hmm. I think what happened, what it reads to Still me. Still not the worst character in the show, though. 
if I were to make a prediction, would be that the original draft of the script was written by someone else. And in, in it was a very explicit story about how Galadriel's quest for vengeance created the very thing she feared. And then they've got a different person to like write it or to fix it up who didn't understand that. And so I don't think either of them understood it. Um, Well, I mean, it's so apparent in the first episode and then, but you're right in the later episodes when that comes to pass, like the show does not acknowledge. And I don't even know if, I don't even remember if the character herself acknowledges that literally the whole situation is her fault because if she just fucking stayed on the boat, then none well, of this would have happened. Sauron tells her that. What are you going to do when you when everyone learns that Sauron lives because of you? Um, okay, so yeah, but okay, so the show does specifically says that. that, right? But the thing is, the show is so poorly. Re- Halbrand is a broken character. Um, he's, I just say I'm very proud of you guys for remembering so much of it because I, I, just, <laughs> I know I, I know this he's, is I don't remember like he's a. He's like a relatively inoffensive character by Rings of Power standards up until you get the reveal that he's Sauron the whole time. And then his the character completely breaks. We get retroactively nothing that he does makes any sense. So I don't know what I'm supposed to take right. away from like what the show wants me to think about that. It's a very he just confusing wanted to join show. A labor union, Sauron. He wanted to just <laughs> join he the guild to of Ring. The, Look, yeah, I'm, he wanted to be I'm in willing to call the whole Numenor thing woke just... for that scene alone. Like what, the labor union. They're taking our jobs. Yeah, that one line. <laughs> the whole thing woke. That was hilarious. <laughs> it was funny as fuck. Well, it was funny. Uh, the thing that Brad was talking about before is something that I find really interesting in terms of squaring it away as a criticism of what happens when. What I can obviously tell is the point of a story is like fundamentally contradicted by all of the all of the um the events, events. that actually happen in it. Yeah. Um which can be, I guess, a bit complicated because what a story is wanting what a story wants you to believe is kind of like a I don't know that it's a super clear cut thing. It's a little bit more hazy than the actual events that take place. But at the same time, you can kind of tell. You know when it's like what direction a story's taking you in and what they want you to think, um, and then it gets yeah, particularly complicated it's... when you start to throw in political motivations as well. When it's like, dude, you you clearly want me to believe this one thing, but everything that you presented uh, leads me to a completely different conclusion. Rings of Power is one of the ultimate shows for that. Like, I don't understand what you want me to think. What um, are you trying One Division would be another one I'd point to. Yes, right? At the end of One Division, they want you to feel a certain way about Wanda that is oh, completely yeah. different from what actually happened. And like, there's some M O M as well, that. right? I'll tie yeah, into that. Yeah, yeah, of course. I don't want to just bitch about fucking Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah so this ain't E F A B. Okay, has this problem. <laughs> Well, then it's interesting, too, because then with as bad as Doctor Strange 2 was, obviously, uh, you know, Raimi viewed Wanda as being evil and bad because she's just completely evil in that in that movie. So, yeah, I just it's it's so weird to me. I understand how writers or creators of these shows just don't perceive what the fuck's going on with these characters that they're creating. Uh, Again, I I mean, the impression that I get is that it stems from a lack of writing discipline where like, you don't appreciate that all of the individual moments, they all, they all add up, right? You can't have a scene that exists on its own where these events happen and these characters say these things to each other. And then you can just have that in a little bubble divorced Mm. from the broader story that's taking place. Like when Talos says to Fury, every choice that you made, all of your accomplishments are mine. That doesn't exist in a vacuum. That affects everything. That spans out across all of the stories that he appeared in. And like that could easily just stem from, well, I wrote this scene and I think it's a great scene for whatever reason I do, for whatever point I'm trying to make without fully appreciating all of the knock-on consequences that that has on these characters. I that think was, that was one of my questions was uh, we, we had uh, what makes a good movie, but like, I just want to point out Frangie, that's so accurate. Like having scenes in the movie that just are divorced from the wider movie for me. Uh, it's so, well, yeah, it's so I, dumb. I just wanted to, on that topic, like, you know, wondering how does this even happen? Just keep in mind that they don't even have completed scripts, like yeah. even sometimes months before they finish filming or weeks. Right. Right. Which, which is absolutely um, fucking nuts. It's I, I, and that's kind of the part where you like it. It just feels like um, a lot of these can be explained by how fucking badly some of these productions come together. 
Like the fact that they don't have complete scripts and nobody talks to each other about the angle that they're going with for their stories. Um, and then there's a general, like a, 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 a seemingly decreasing amount of respect for cause and effect as like a fundamental element of uh, storytelling compared to, well, I've got these really great ideas for how I can subvert expectations. <laughs> <laughs> like, the de- yeah. Well, talking about like scenes being disconnected, because I think you're completely correct. Like in WandaVision, you know, I always thought it was so weird where, you know, if they wanted us to feel sympathetic for Wanda, but still have like the plot, where she's essentially mind controlling a whole town, you would want to like soften the mind control elements and not be so horrific. So like, oh, when someone wakes up from it, they're like, oh, I was in this crazy dream, right? So you're like, well, she took over a bunch of people's minds, but you know, it wasn't so um, bad. It but then in the show- they wanted to die. Right, but in the show, they do the exact opposite. They show it's like this horrific fucking thing where like everyone's like having an existential fucking nightmare when they start to like slowly break out of the mind control. And I'm like, why would um, anyone be sympathetic to this? Yeah, person? when if, I, if in the board, they like Fringy recommended, let's have one of the characters say, if you're not going to let us go, just let us die. We would be like, no, we're not yeah, having that. What are you that. doing? We're so not having I that, think that line the, in there. The, the problem is that when they have Monica say, you'll never know what, uh, they'll never know what you sacrifice for them. It's almost like the writers want you to go, well, that's what the story's telling me. So that's true, regardless <laughs> of what I believe does about happen. the events that actually, yeah, it does. It definitely does. Where it's like, but that's what the story says. So you have to accept it. It's like, there's no recognition that what you present in the story isn't necessarily going to be accepted by the viewer. Th- there's a le- There's like a give and take when it comes to stories. A viewer is definitely willing to give the fact that there's magic or, you know, science fiction elements like spaceships yes. or things like that in a story. Like a viewer can meet a story at some point. But I mean, there's a point that you push it where it's like, dude, what you're telling me just doesn't relate to what I've actually seen. And then you have, you know, your mm-hmm. um, suspension of disbelief just snaps. And that would be an example of it. They never know what you sacrifice for them. It's like, fuck it, hell. <laughs> jeez <laughs> okay no matter how like fantasy oriented the story is people have to interact with each other in a way that's realistic or it yep. just breaks down what well, needs to be legible to yeah. you know real people regardless of whatever crazy fantasy elements there are it needs to be legible to us human beings who live in the real world where things operate in a certain way there's a level of predictability there's also unpredictability, mm-hmm. right? That's like the spice of storytelling, but there's got to be a level of predictability of A connects to B connects to C. I see that. I accept that as true. And these sorts of breaks, you know, and and then that's when it starts to get more complicated of what is a story want me to believe versus what do the actual things that happen in it, what, what do they logically cause me to believe about what's happening? And Ooh. that's a little bit more vague. Mm-hmm. WandaVision is, I, I would I would imagine... That is another good example of sort of how, in my opinion, wokeness kind of fucked up uh, oh, the show. Uh, because do you know about the you Doctor had, Strange like, thing? Well, because if you had, well, besides the Doctor Strange element of it, <laughs> if you just had a show that was about Wanda who can't get over the loss of her children she never had or whatever, you know, so she creates this kind of alternate universe and mind controls all these people. And the show starts off as kind of like this like wacky, weird comedy kind of like the first episode and it just slowly becomes more like darker and like more kind of fucked up and it just becomes at the end like this tragedy and wanda is like a tragic dark figure at the end of it and the show like acknowledges that as opposed to trying to like salvage her reputation that could have been like fantastic but then they're like no we have to make her like a lot but then like we have to make her become you know she has to be you know seen as still a good guy at the end of the show you know, you have to have all this, like, you know, female empowerment for some reason. In a show, it should be about a woman losing her fucking mind. Okay, so that's where the problem comes in, because I think I think even the fucking creators would have told you, like, what are you talking about? That's what we did. But they didn't. They very no, clearly they didn't. didn't. You are correct. They, they did not do that. Right. But <laughs> see, but failed. I don't, I just, I don't think, I don't yeah. think they think they did that. I think, well, and it, maybe it's wokeness, or maybe it's because this, now to be fair, it could be Marvel saying, listen, you can't have Wanda go full evil because we don't know what we're going to do with the character yet. So maybe there are restrictions on that from Disney or something. Well, that. but like, well, this is part of the problem I think Freeman was highlighting, though. You know, when they drop all that snow and essentially possibly kill all of those prisoners, if you highlight that to a writer in Marvel and they say to you, like, they're prisoners. And you're like, yeah. And, and they they're, go, and they're, they're prisoners. Men. Yeah. Like, that's <laughs> a, to them, it's a satisfactory answer. It's like, well, what? 
or, or they or you know that push comes to shove they'd be like do you can you shut the fuck up like why do you have to bring that up right like, like that's not really, important like, that doesn't it, matter those people um, are all in there for like you know crimes or whatever like who cares if they die <laughs> like if that was the moral you know backbone of this writer you're like oh shit no wonder this is all fucked you, well, don't, you just, don't even know like, you don't, you know don't even doing. know what mistakes you've made yeah. um and like it, it's it's like a lack of consideration for how the little things can absolutely add up i mean what was you know like i mean it's fucking um force awakens right one of the biggest complaints at this point that is accepted is having the storyline of finn being a stormtrooper who defects and then joins the rebellion and then just without any pause or consideration at all mercilessly guns down all of the other stormtroopers who come from the exact same situation and condition as him and the story has a lack of recognition for it um because yeah, they're incompetent that they're, up just they'd be like dude shut up like just stormtroopers we gotta have the stormtroopers and you shoot them yeah. um and that would be as far as it goes and that's just like a lack of writing discipline i'd say mm -hmm. and stupidity i think that actually a lot of this is solved um by an ex this explanation all right i think that all of the writers at the all these modern shitty writers they're all they're all hard solipsists they believe that they are the only minds in the universe so they feel as if everyone else already knows the things that they know deep down so they don't have to go through any of the work explaining through writing the kinds of ideas that they're trying to get across in their story or their characters they just assume oh, of course they this is what we're doing with Wanda, like they, they all know. I mean, I know. And if I know it, you know, everyone else knows it because, you know, I don't have to worry about putting my thoughts into someone else's head. Everyone just knows because, mm -hmm. you know, that's what it is. You know, it's so it's so easy. Obviously, that's what I'm trying to do. And you're failing to like, realize. Oh, sorry. You're saying that, like, you know, when when you have like a two year old and you and they do the experiment where like someone hides a cookie under a cup and you ask and then a stranger comes in, you ask the two year old, like, well, what cup does the stranger think it's under? The kid is going to say, well, it's under the, the cup that I saw it under because they don't understand that the person doesn't experience their version of reality. You're saying that the, the Marvel writers have never gone past that age of development mentally. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I can believe that. I think that all <laughs> slots in. This is an at this is what we call a sufficient explanation. There you hey, go. We're, we're getting close to our time. We got about 15 minutes left. So. Aww. Oh, Do you, well. look at well, there's a bunch of super chats here. It's, so, it's okay. Know. You want us to leave, and that's fine. You want us guess, to yeah. fuck off. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. You've milked us for all. You milked us dry. Well, this seems like a good opportunity to ask you guys to come back and to do the Fight Club video with us. No, we for, thought we were going to stop us for ten hours long. <laughs> seems like we've hours. wet your. Seems like we've wet your whistle for a full yeah. show. You say fight. this like we never come on. <laughs> I know. It's true. Well, look. Wait, uh, what, the, the Fight Club video. You mentioned it before because Fight Club's your Maggie favorite Maggie Mayfish right? video, apparently. Yes. Yeah. Okay. She's going to well, argue Fight Club. There's like is, a couple. Uh... There's a couple other videos we'd like to do with you guys. Look, it, it's a big ass to come on for a long time. I. It's a small ass to come on for an hour or two. So that's why. That's, I mean, uh, our hour is really Fight long Club. to a, 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 a mayfly. <laughs> Listen, there's 24 frames in every second, Adam. This is a very long period. Look at them all go. Look at that. Oh, past 100 oh, already. Oh, look at wow. them. They're flying by. Oh, I wow. They're going so fast that I can't count them all. Wow. <laughs> Let me read some super This chat. is madness. Uh, Akilin Narya Salami, thank you for the $300. Thank you. It was incredibly generous. Said, congratulations on the 300 stream of the best one of the best show on the entire internet. Wow, take that, guys. Wow. Here's the 300 more. I'm glad you're also sticking the oh classics God. by bringing on two women for Adam to interrupt. I'm proud of Adam. I did sticking some interrupting to his principles, too. <laughs> but S class is the best class. That guy should check out EFAP. He should. That's amazing. We have women there often. Yes. I do. do you There's them? a lot of, we have a lot a of overlap on of our them. shows. So. Obviously, a lot we have a lot of EFAP watchers, listeners on our show, and yeah, I'm all the sure best people. We've always said that. Yeah, EFAP. we've all we've always said that your audience has great taste. Nobody can ever find our show though, because every time you talk about it on your show, you call it the Adam and Sid show. So <laughs> no, when you, when you like, type Adam and Sid, you don't get your show. That's true. but the thing is, that's what which I'm in favor does. of. But you know. <laughs> yeah. Everyone uh, says Adam and Sitch because that's just like what you would do. Oh, it's only, true. That was only, the correct thing to do. Was only the moral people thing to do. Than one. No, no, no. Only people of low moral character say Dusky and, and Hutch. <laughs> Ratchet and Clank. Well, Jack and Daxter is the other way around. Sorry. Tucker and Dale. Tucker and Dale, uh, yeah. 
Her Densenig for 200 sexy sexes says, can Fringy please say, quote, are you trying to tempt me because I come from the land of plenty? I, uh, <laughs> hey, wait, so they want me to say, are you trying to tempt me because I come from the land of plenty? Well, I guess Ooh. you got it. That's what they want you to say. Is that okay. a reference to something? I, yes, like I, a yes of course it's a, it's a reference song, right? to something. I'm really disappointed. What is what, that? But I don't know the reference. Is it it's from Minute no, Work? No, right? no. Obviously, Fringy knows the reference. I meant Sitch. Isn't it from a song? Indeed, it is from a song. I don't remember song. all the lyrics from the song. All right. I was going to say, right. Remember, Fringy didn't know who Rembrandt was. You really? Did? Oh, yeah, that's right. He he didn't. What's that? The what guy is the name that tries of that to song? kill Arnold Schwarzenegger in Last that's Action Hero? Down yes. Under, right? <laughs> yes. The song is Down Under. Sitch, you don't know. Do, 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 do. I know that song. I know that whole. I could sing that whole. Everyone album, knows that song. I, start they, to I don't finish. know the lyrics of the song. Okay. Anyway, the Men at Work song. Okay. Um, Theodore King of Brohan for eight months. Theodin says, "Can Sitch and Adam go on EFAP Gaming? I want more Gardic foam." Yeah. Oh yeah, that sure. was a lot of fun. That was. I'll play Gardic foam with you guys again. It's fun. Nice. Anytime. You bet. Uh, Jink for ten dollars for the first super chat. Thank you. Has found you guys through EFAP after going through a good chunk of your episodes. Uh, what can I say? But keep up the good work. Happy three hundred. S class is the best class. And A team also ran supreme. Oh, nice. I like it. Interesting. There you go. Team Team Mongos. Uh, as for thirty and T says, ask Mahler about Wizard of Speed and Time. Uh, ask me what about it? I don't know. That's all it says. Um, I don't recognize it. Is it like a metal band? It's a weird movie that I've never seen. That's on YouTube, I think. Uh, the real life special effects creator works in his garage uh, on a stop motion sequence of a TV show. That sounds cool. Okay, check it out. I, guess. I don't know what that is though. Uh, psychic on five for five dollars says a trolley is heading towards a person who tortures oh EFAP and Sitch and Adam dolls. You can pull a lever and redirect it to a person who puts the dolls in jars. <laughs> Do you pull the lever? Obviously. That's Listen, I thought the question was going to be, if you have the EFAP dolls on one track and the Sitch and Adam dolls on the other track, what do you do? What well, you protect you the EFAP dolls, obviously. Now, obviously, you run the EFAP There's three of us right and two of you We're saving more EFAP people. EFAP reigns supreme. That's true. This is basic life yeah, but no, no, but wait a minute. There are more than one generation of EFAB dolls that exist. There's only the one generation of Sitch and Adam dolls so far. Hmm. But yeah, all of our generations are like look special edition. All of us are special editions that look different, so I'm okay. sorry. Uh, the Wicker Man for two dice says, What's your thoughts on ATSV? Fringy must answer. <laughs> I, I'm never talking about that movie for, until Beyond the Spider-Verse comes out, all right? I'm not talking about it. It's not complete. It is an incomplete story. What is... Oh, that's the first of the Across Spider the Spider-Verse. That's right. You won't talk about it till part two comes out? That's weird. Nope. We I need, talked I about need it. More, you can, that's totally fine. I need more information on, on aspects of the story, all right? Mm, I know who asked that question because he keeps asking me. <laughs> <laughs> and you're never gonna get it. It's the Wicker Man. You're doing creative ways, but you're not getting it. He's gonna get you to the bees. Better watch it. Not out. until and hey, look, that one is not coming out. That one is um indefinitely delayed, so we don't even Ooh. know. Oh, you might know, never hear our opinions out. on that movie. You, well, you guys have not of, commented I talked about at all. My opinions on it? open bar, so some of the some of my opinions are public. Whatever you wow. said, I agree with. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you said, I don't know. I'm waiting like for more information. We did a video on it, right? We Since did, I, yeah. yeah. We did. Was it what did you guys think? Did you love it? Uh, I liked it. Yeah. I, I liked it. I thought the first one was better. Mm, um, there were. I thought better. this. I thought this one dragged at parts because it, it felt like I could feel the part two stretchness of it. Kind mm, of. Okay. It dragged in some parts. I really <laughs> liked the spot a lot. Could you? Could you explain its thin? Um, it's thin qualities using like a maybe like a butter and bread analogy. Yeah, felt like there wasn't enough butter yeah. on too much bread. Yeah. How do you how do you yeah, feel about weird. canon events? Well, okay. Well, yeah, without getting too much into it, because if they're following the rules that have already been established by the other MCU stuff, which I'm assuming they are, then we know that that um. 
Miguel is wrong already. So that kind of ruins a lot of the conflict of the story, if that's well, that's, true. that's interesting. And that's your opinion. Um, like I said, I'm not talking about that <laughs> yet. Well, no, I'm, it, if it doesn't follow the rules of all the other MCU properties, then who knows? But I'm saying if it does, then we know that that's not true. Unless, hmm. and I don't think they're going to do this, but maybe this could be some fucking insane tie in to Loki because then it would make, unfortunately, make sense that there's some change to the timeline, which creates, you know, the TVA to come and prune the universe. And that's why the universe gets like annihilated. I guess we'll have to find out that we need eventually, it. maybe. Exciting, isn't it? Yeah. That's so, yeah, but they're going to tie in like into the Spider Verse into the worst, fuck, or one of the worst Marvel TV shows. Uh, they already like. tied into the MCU, Sitch. So I know, that's what I'm saying. They've, it's like, they've, well, like, they've what necessarily the fuck? tied it into the MCU with references. They have sewn themselves to that which abomination. Means that, uh, which means that all of what exists in the MCU is relevant to Across the Spider Verse. And that, also but that's that the problem, Across the Spider Verse is very relevant to the rest of the MCU. Whether that's good or bad, I have no opinion on that. Well, that was what was weird disclose. because, like, he's talking, Miguel's talking about how, like, oh, if you change canon events, it destroys the universe. But we know that's like what he did wasn't changing canon universe. It was he did what Doctor Strange did. He tried to live in a different universe. That's what destroys the universe. It's not changing and something. Remember, that though, Sitch, the MCU hasn't made up its mind on incursion. Dude, fucking Multiverse of Madness couldn't even make up its mind on how yeah. incursions work. Sure. All right. Sure, but... And I'm sure that the Marvels will provide us with many answers oh. to these things and X Men, I guess. Well, remember the incursions in MOM were added in reshoots as well. They were, which is, uh, my God, those reshoots made that movie. Yeah worse dramatically worse. <laughs> so much worse incursions might be the biggest mistake that they ever made mm-hmm. in terms of writing yeah so i don't know it's a whole fucking clusterfuck so i guess we'll find out i i guess i understand why you're like well i'll wait to see what the fuck the plot yeah is no we'll wait and see and be on the spider verse until then i have no opinion okay uh, Enlightened Centrist for 12 euros. Thank you. Says, congrats, guys, for reaching 300. Fun fact, Mahler and Rags appeared on show 150 for the first time. I sent such a small clip compilation of their appearances if you want to see how it went. Wow. It probably went all right. They would have been all your best episodes. I no assume. way. Yeah, was, I think so. It went great. What are you talking about? That's Episode one of our, 150. That's one of our most watched Crowning shows, obviously. Yeah. yeah. We, we, I believe we covered... Well. Um, like Lauren, Lauren Southern, Southern and Lance, Lance debate, yeah, exactly. That was your first. Oh episode. yeah, I remember. Wow. Yeah, I remember that was that. a lot of fun. Yeah, I was playing was Minecraft incredible. at the time. That's yeah. right. Lauren Southern totally picked up Lance and paddled his butt right in front of everyone. <laughs> yeah, we'll watch it. Did, didn't we'll more watch information come out on the the subject they were discussing? It was like definitive. She turned out to be completely correct. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. There were no bodies under there. They were like tree roots or mineral. Not a mass grave. Something. Yeah. No, no mass grave detected. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Orca for forty dollars. Thank you. Said the Avengers have converged. What powers would you guys each have? You guys truly are the best podcasters on the internet. Thank you for all the inspiration, insight, and content. Well, thank you. For the words. I'd have Mr. Fantastic Dang. Powers. It'd be all stretchy. Really? Uh, which Fantastic yeah. Four power would we want? Any? Is that no, no, any, any power. power. Any oh, power. okay. I want to be Loki. I want to have Loki's power. Oh, damn! I actually, I'm not sure because I feel like there are a few <laughs> candidates. Many uh, candidates, yeah. There are a few. There are a few candidates that seem. You know I what? Loki's new power. I don't that know. He gets. Superman, <laughs> Superman powers would probably be pretty neat. Mm-hmm. Being able to fly. Well, the power it... to not ever get any fucking good movies made about you. <laughs> hey, well, look, right? You know, super bad. Superman, the first Superman, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If we can choose like a person instead of a single power, then yeah, like Superman or like Goku would be like an answer. Uh... I guess um, Goku would count in superhero category. Right. Um, well, it was just superpower. I didn't say superhero. But if I had to choose a single power, I would choose like the Flash's power, like the speed power. Uh, I don't. I always wonder about the the implications of like the nature of being able to go that fast. Do you perceive all of reality in slow motion? Right. And you know what I mean? And then you almost have to adjust your life to the knowledge that yeah, if it's like, like the guy in Invincible is awful because yeah, he sees everything like that at all times. That would be the worst <laughs> thing ever. From the Flash, I don't believe the Flash perceives time slow no, down he until taps he's actually like speeding the speed up. force. Yeah. yeah, so it's a little different. So that's why I specifically was like, I would go with that version of Super Speed. Fair enough. Yeah. Adam. What's up? Let's what go. What superpower would you choose? For what? 
if you could have for you to have <laughs> where, where were you for the past like 10 minutes <laughs> for you to have well we have another guest coming on so i'm kind of like yeah, he's he's uh, concentrating oh, okay then you better wow. answer quickly yeah superpower if you had to choose a superpower, a superpower would be. let me think how about uh what what is dr manhattan's superpower god that's what i think <laughs> okay you're gonna be dr manhattan <laughs> yeah i can Reality. do anything Man matter manipulation like but that? adam if you opt to have that it'll change you completely i you love will no it. longer be adam it's amazing yeah wait can't wouldn't wait you, wouldn't you just want his ability to rearrange matter without his ability of like perceiving time all like the same time <laughs> like that sounds awful oh uh, look you take the good with the <laughs> I bad can handle okay? It, I... <laughs> <laughs> okay okay uh sick fox for 10 euro says the dead space remake also added all gender bathrooms with a half male, half female symbol, in addition to the male female symbols, is it unfair to call that an element of wokeness? So, well, I the way that I see it is that if you're on a spaceship, that literally means you have to make half as many bathrooms. Okay. The point being that if you can serve, like, space on a spaceship is incredibly important. Each, like, square foot that you have is useful. So I could totally believe that they would just have like shed like there'd just be one yeah. bathroom. Especially, what's the date canonically in universes uh, like twenty five hundred like or five? Isn't it? Is it twenty four? It's not. Is it like, like Halo ish 20, time? Basically, it's around about that time. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's hundreds of years in the future, and A I think it's very possible. Massive resource possible. crunch as well. Remember the dead. Yeah, space massive world resource, resource crunch. Uh, they're they're ripping up pieces of planets to mine them. Uh, and plus in the future, they just, they might not give a shit about that sort of thing. And like, it just logistically makes sense for a spaceship if you look at it pragmatically. Well, but so. again, though, if the point was conceded, uh, I mean, from your perspective, Sitch, Adam, um, if it was that and the uglification of the women by making one of them older and reducing the size of the boobs on the other, if those were the three major contentions and they were definitely true and hundred percent fair would you say like the game is done at that point doesn't really matter what else is in there no so i would never say that about anything like oh it's got too many like elements like what about that could, like the bathroom thing <laughs> or like the woman thing like those could all be elements the of woman thing. right but i wouldn't say like well that means it's bad now like I, there's not like a a scorecard where if there's too many elements you know it reaches well i thought that the point was there is but that that's nowhere near i thought line. we drew the line at five I Adam, we I, like... i'm just saying i don't to me <laughs> to me you can like as much as I complain about wokeness, I would accept a fair amount of wokeness in a story or game as long as it's like. What is good. the nature of five, though? You know, is it equal if one of them is just the character looking at the camera and saying, vote for the Democratic Party or something? Look, Rings That's of like Power right there. <laughs> Rings of Power got one infraction because that infraction was as bad as five infractions just in. What, the one bring, where, where uh, Galadriel in... said vote for the Democratic Party? I don't yeah. remember that. She said like, Hillary Clinton is my candidate of choice. No, they said the Hillary elves are going to take our jobs. Like, the elves right. are going to take our jobs is something that should never be uttered in that universe. In the Lord of the Rings world, there shouldn't be any labor in, this, in the kingdom of Numenor, <laughs> where there has been no elf for, like, centuries. Right. One it's shows just, up, wants to leave, and then... They they say the elder to take jobs. her jobs. I know, just ridiculous. to I just want to clarify though, that sounds like Sitch and Adam would adopt our position on Dead Space. Just, that's what it sounds oh, like. That it is not sufficiently woke to be deemed. Well, I haven't played a wise, a yeah. wise maneuver. I said your, sounds your like your position is woke but you forgivable. Can't. I would I say we talked it, about this. to me it would like the story generally is more important than like all these other little elements to it. So Although we didn't talk about that, Adam, we found your fucking take on it bizarre. <laughs> woke but forgivable. <laughs> True, uh, woke but forgivable. Is there a movie that is woke but forgivable? I, I, I don't know what that. Mm. Tell me what I, you literally. That's not that. possible. That has the no, politics. Wait, just make it as, are, as quick and as simple as possible. Tell me what you mean by that. That has the politics that are unabashedly woke, yeah. but it's still good. Yeah, politics that are woke. Give me like three. Look, I, I'm, I don't I'm know. Asking I don't know an example exists. of any. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Did you guys see the the creator? I can see why people are saying that's. Well, I saw, wait, no, no, sorry, I didn't. I, I, I wasn't just... asking for examples of films or games you consider. I mean, three examples of like policy that you would see present in the thing that would be like, well, that's definitely woke. Well, okay, Barbie's like the oh, okay, the I got gotcha. you. You know, oh, explicitly woke movie, right? Yeah, so, and uh, I would so say like with Barbie, you're saying like explicit mention of how men need to learn to be better, sort of thing. Well, just the, I know the whole idea about there's a patriarchy, man hating whole, for the sake of man hating, yeah. That that women need to wake up from the patriarchy and blah 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 blah. blah. I mean, yeah, okay. Go through the whole thing. 
Um, well, no, not not necessarily the whole movie, but right. like, obviously, what I'm trying to square here is like three. Uh, like, it, it, would, it, would this count as because you want us to find something that we consider to be woke by the definition you can provide, but also forgivable, or even that you would provide. Well, I don't. That's why, like I said, any attempt I've ever had to try and construct one, it gets confused because remember, you already said earlier, and I agree with you. If a person says like, "My movie's amazing because it's all about how men are terrible," and then we watch it and we think it's a badass movie, and we're like, "What the fuck are they talking about?" Um, but a lot of people will say, "No, doesn't matter what's in the movie at that point. If they've said that, then it's over." That, that okay, maybe over. a better way to ask this question would be: Is there because you're kind of talking about like the Canto bite scene? You know, having this messaging and then, you know, why it failed because it's, you know, blah, 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 without going into sure. all that. Is there a movie or game that the message of the movie is very, or the game is very explicitly like, like left wing in a way that you don't agree with personally, but you still think is a good movie or game? Um, there's got to be, that. but I would imagine um, there's got to, there's got to be ones for that for like everything. Any direction, I mean, yeah, right? sure, sure. I would imagine. So let's just, I mean, do, do you need an example? Or can I just say like, yeah, that's got to have happened. Okay, sure. You can say that. You can't think yeah, of one. I don't know. Of it's like, um, like if, like if Hitler simulator had really I mean, good I can't mechanics. think of one off the top of my head either. But. Yeah. Um, well, I was going to say if you could one. help out if you've got anything on top of your head, because I find the whole concept strange, but at the same time, film, it, it, it also depends. Everyone has different, you know, like Bioshock. There's many different interpretations of what exactly Bioshock means. People make sure. fun of each other for for not understanding what Bioshock means, right? And so it's like, do we, do you support the message in Bioshock? It's like, well, for me, the message in Bioshock is much more about human nature than whether or not objectivism works and criticisms of capitalism as well. I guess, like, you know, or mm -hmm. individualism or whatever. Like, I, I, um, Fern Gully, <laughs> Wally, <laughs> Borderlands, Steven Wally, Universe. wait, Wally, what? Wally, <laughs> Wally, I would not what say Wally is left wing. At all, because while there's an environmentalist angle, the whole like being stuck in chairs is kind of like a more. This is why I don't so, understand yeah. these categories. No, <laughs> I, I understand. Yeah, someone when just said like he doesn't understand story. and yet hangs out with Gary. It's like Gary's definition is different from Sitch's, is different from some of the people in and chat. What is, what is from, Gary's? I, I don't know. know Gary's definition. I wouldn't want to speak for him because I don't. I'd rather oh, okay. him give it. I, this is what I mean. I, I I see so many examples and criteria, it gets too confusing. Mm -hmm. Disco Elysium. I never played that, but. Okay. Um. Wait. The most dope for twelve months says, "Can we get Mahler, Rags, and Fringy to say clip it, CT? Can it be a tradition to get at least once from each guest?" Sure. Absolutely. Clip it, CT. Clip it, uh, CT. Oh, very low energy, Mahler. Really, <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah. You want don't, that don't, clip? Oh, don't clip You're that, CT. You want? Oh, look, well. No, no. Take that one. Look, that's that's like the. <laughs> That's the beta, the beta ist clip CT, oh clip yeah. CT I've the, ever I had heard. The Chad, um, the Chad, clip well, the Chad let's not go, clip. let's Ooh, not go crazy. Oh, rags, crazy. look, oh, where is rags, rag rags, right now? look, rags was like a five energy. I mean, no, Mahler's oh, was I like was a, a, no, I was a ten energy. Mahler, so, Mahler it, was like a ten energy. energy to have. If, if the microphone clips. Is it the more that the microphone clips? There the you go. It is. That could be. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it's got, look, it's got to be exciting. It means it look. CT. It means this was good. It means Wait, look. This let's, was great. Uh, let's get it. Let's get it from Frank. I gotta get mine. That's what <clears> they mean <throat> by clip it. You're talking rags. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Yeah, he's I, trying I to concentrate. Stopped. Rags, trying to come stop. on. Then I would stop, and it was silent, and then you did that. Clip it, CT. There you go. Yes. Right. Yes. Oh, that's, that's what you meant by high energy. I that's see. the energy. Yeah. yeah that's what you want to yeah. try again, Mullen? It's like no. a punctuation. No. Thing. Okay. There you, you can go. keep oh. my low energy boy. Yeah. Yours yeah. will forever. We, suck. Need, we need contrast. Okay. Is it late? Is it late night there? Uh, yeah. Okay. Das Apprentice for $2 says EFAP, a long time debate, Hunter, Hunter, or JoJo. I've, I'm assuming you guys have seen neither of these things, right? Hunter, Hunter, or JoJo? Yeah. What's the difference between the first two? Hunter X Hunter is what they're talking about. Hunter right? Hunter is the name of the show. Oh. So it's Bur Hunter Hunter versus JoJo? Yeah. Like, what's oh. a better show? I don't know. The answer is Hunter Hunter. I mean, they probably both suck. Yeah. It's an anime, yeah. so I don't know. Oh, yeah, they probably both suck. Whichever one like sucks them. the least, I like. Okay. Hunter. How about Hunter Hunter? There you go. Good choice. I haven't seen anime, so. Oh, you Wait, awful. did you just say anime? Is that a fucking JoJo reference? I mean, yeah. it could be. It could Damn. be. Damn. 
didn't Attack on Titan just end? I think so. I heard a, I heard a couple people mention that. You know, I never watched that show because I knew the ending would be horribly unsatisfying, and it turned I've out I've seen great. passionate praise and criticism for that ending, Sitch. So, okay, look out there. Yeah, uh, but well, what do we care for the opinion of weebs? Mm. Uh, a lion does not care uh, for, the for the opinion of, of a weebs. Weeb. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, Stephen Benesk for $20. Thank you. He says, I love it when worlds collide. Always fun to see the greatest fappers known to man with Sitch and Adam get Steve on EFAP. There you go. Steve, uh, Steve Michael Steve? Davis? Is that the now, Steve? Steve, the, probably the super chatter. Steve Burrell? Steve Benas, Benazza? I don't know how to say his name. Steve Jobs, he died. Steve Jobs. That's small. You gotta ask smaller Steven about that. Jobinson. R- Ralt of Gibeah for two hours says EFAP thoughts on House of Usher. Uh, I liked it a lot. I, it was I liked um, it a lot as well. Good stuff. I guess to save as much time as possible, I did a podcast with Nina Infinity. If you search for both our names and House of Usher, you can get a big chunk of what I thought of it on there. Um, overall, I thought it was really cool, though. Um, lots of stuff to like about it. I don't know what. Mm-hmm. Um, this is particularly violent, which was neat for Flanagan. And uh, very sexy, very titillating. Lots of reprehensible characters that had the opportunity to live much better lives, and has a lot to say about nature versus nurture and uh, sort of the concept of resolution and death. There's a lot of neat stuff in there. Cool. Well, is our next guest rare to go, Adam? No, not really. Oh, we might be. Okay. I guess we'll just keep talking. Look, to you I people. sent. I oh, sent wow. Him... DLC okay. for the EFAPers. Look, I, look. <laughs> well, I, I'm kind of counting on him to be here because I have a thing that I need to do here. So well, you can leave. You can leave look. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I they I mean, really need to show up so that I can go, or else I'll be those, trapped those here are, forever. Yeah, the comedic <laughs> beat of like Rags, like I need to go. And it's like you could go. Like, oh. <laughs> I sent. Look, I sent. I've sent him the link. It's think before you sleep. Think before you sleep is going to come on. We're going to talk about. Um, uh, I believe strict uh, gender roles. Sitch has a few. Ooh, wow, int- that's that's our speciality. That's I think speciality. S- that's what we talk about all the time. Is well, yeah, but gender we, roles. How okay. do you guys feel about strict gender roles? I I, I support them. I'm pro burka and <laughs> uh, it's whatever. I don't know what do men do to go to war. Yeah. Yeah. They well, I, look, cut I down trees. Him, what do you mean? I sent him oh, a link tools. and I told him we kick you guys out whenever he shows up. But I mean, look, you guys can leave. You guys can stay. So. Um, I, I'm, I'm happy out. to. Okay. I uh, I need to. There's a thing I'm gonna be doing, so mm-hmm. I will go and do that, and then I will see you later. Thanks for Take having care. me on for yeah. your 300th episode. Thanks Ooh. for celebrating with Thanks us. Thanks for coming on. You bet. Anytime. I guess there won't be another 300th episode though. But we'll have one right for any it'll similar. Be yeah, yeah, that's true because we, you know, because ours are, you know, they're different and they're more, you know, well produced and more people watch them and all that. Um, but <laughs> apart, but apart, it's whoa, really, it's really, shots really fired. Wow, you okay. no, no, I really painful. Enjoy it. Oh, right. why, why is that, that, like, is that a is knife in my back? That's here? not an You're insult so because I watch, I watch <laughs> their show. Rags like, is attempt like to leave all the time, but he drops show. that. <laughs> like so a classic shots. We're having no. a nice conversation. No, 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 he just no. drops a turn. You're he's like, bye. You're reading that wrong. I watch Adam and Sitch.com. Nice. All of their okay. TV shows, I watched. I watched them. Okay. So I would be like burning myself if that meant anything. Uh huh. All right. Look, I'm going and- to leave. Have a good rest of your stream fun, and I look forward to your episode 301st. Goodbye. You. See you later. To you. Bye. 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 See you we'll for the we for the. Can we can talk the real Fight topics video. now. What are the real topics? Oh, I thought you guys had them ready. We had a real we can topic. Bring them to you, you guys. Come. You guys punted on it. Goes, what well, look we the, la- the, 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 the last the last question the last question is what was, makes no what makes the real t- no the real topic was real I want you guys take on the israel palestine situation i just think oh yeah they get along. totally oh okay. really uh-huh. that's qu- quite a nuanced so, take there all right uh, thank you i've mm-hmm. worked on that for a real long time Frankie, how do you feel that people in your country were saying gas to choose <laughs> oh it's so awful <laughs> Oh, Quick Frankie, talk about I Hello mean... Kitty. Well, we didn't finish our discussion on Hello Kitty. That's true. <laughs> I don't think we settled that one. Yeah, yet. there was. We really were settling on some interesting criteria. That's just like, hey, would you engage with it if it would like, ooh, if it's blue? Is like, is that going to fix it? And it's like, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe that isn't the fix. Maybe Hello there's Kitty. nothing to be fixed with Hello Kitty. Exactly. Maybe you need to be fixed in your soul. 
Exactly. You know? That's the thing. And maybe that is with all media. There's no fix for media. It's a fix mm -hmm. for ourselves. That's right. It makes you it makes you think and introspect and, and wonder yeah. if it's like, do I need Hello Kitty or uh or or uh or goodbye dolls? <laughs> yeah. Do, goodbye do guys... doggy. Oh yeah, I guess that would be the opposite. Do you guys think that your Y chromosome affects your like or dislike of Hello Kitty? Pretty? <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> um my Y chromosome. Yeah. I mean I, I do, do you like know what a Y, y chromosome shaped. is? It's one of those things you have in your cereal or whatever, right? <laughs> exactly. You can get all different numbers and letters, but the Y one is like, everyone says it's the tastiest or something. Mm -hmm. Is that what they say? They say the That's y what they say. Different. I think they oversugared the Ys, which is crazy. Like, that was a mistake, mm -hmm. but now if they don't do it, people are like, you fucked it up. So, that's, that's just how it goes, right? Mistakes that lead to quality. What can I say? There you go. Kind of like your show. Wait a minute. Was that a compliment or an insult? <laughs> it was a compliment. Time. You'll be up all night trying to figure out. <laughs> it was a compliment. Insult insult. Half insult, half compliment. You're like, oh, is okay. that possible or does that break the fabric of reality? I am seeing a lot of spaghetti. Palm oh, spaghetti? yeah, that's true because that's what happens when there's a plot hole in the universe. Yeah. Everything turns into. Oh, lingual. Loki. Loki. Yeah, up. you got it. There you go. Why didn't oh everything turn into a what are the what's the uh, I literally don't know the names of any other types of pasta. What's the penny? Yeah, yeah. Penny, why, why, why is everything that turns a penny into pasta? That? Exactly. Actually, so I've heard or I saw a Discovery Channel thing many years ago that said that the whole thing about turning spaghetti is not even true <gasps> because it's like the the force of the gravity is so strong that it pulls you in so fast that it counteracts the force of the gravity crushing you or something. And so you would like actually go into a black hole and not realize, like you wouldn't feel it. You would just go through it. Well, that's mm. nice. You wouldn't so want to feel go. it. Wait, what? But have you verified that? Uh, Not yet. I was actually, we're going to crowdfund for Adam to test this <laughs> uh, firsthand, but... Oh my god. There is a problem yeah. that apparently you can't ever actually see something enter a black hole because you uh, can't get the yeah. information back. That's well, annoying. You only ever see it. You see it as like a still image that then I know a red. film that solves that problem. Exactly. What? Yeah, Interstellar. Oh, yeah. that's right. That's your favorite movie of all time, isn't it, Mubes? It's Let's talk about it, Tenet I, in I our mean, last five minutes film, of the show. I, I haven't seen <laughs> it's Tenet, so I can't say anything about it. You, why not? That movie's Did amazing, you Frankie. I, you I, see I, I don't know if I'm eager to watch. I saw Oppenheimer. I imagine that it has a lot in common with Tenet, you know? Yeah. I feel like if you've seen Oppenheimer, you've seen Tenet, you know? I yeah, Oppenheimer exactly. takes place backwards? I, didn't I haven't see. seen Oppenheimer, so I don't know if that's true. They, they, well, oh, they uh, it's directed by Nolan. Isn't that all you need? You know, that's close enough. Okay. Did you see Tenet, Mulder? No, why would I oh watch Oh my movie god, you guys that never saw you, is, What? Is, we really? just explained. I was going to wait for Oppenheimer. I didn't see the need for seeing Tenet. I could just see Oppenheimer. What's, what is your take on Interstellar? <laughs> um, I thought it was known by you guys. Have we not talked about this or have we talked about this? <laughs> I don't remember. Look, I thought I you didn't, didn't like look, it, but I don't know. This look, story. I'm opening up a notepad right now so I can right. start keeping track of all your movie takes. <laughs> Good. Make a big web. Uh is Look, I terrible. judge movies by how good the robots are. That's one of my top criteria for movies. So Taz isn't even that good. You were tricked. No, it's amazing. Are you kidding okay, me? Okay, boy. Good movie oh. with a good robot, Moon. Moon's oh, yeah. Moon great. is amazing. Yeah. I haven't yeah. seen it yet. I you better be careful calling that robot good, though. It's Kevin Spacey I... bot. <laughs> I don't know if you know well, that. Oh, I, I guess. Well, you know, listen. That robot is innocent till proven guilty. Okay. All right. I agree. All right, our guest is here now, so I guess we're saying oh. goodbye, guys. Thanks well, it was fun. Uh, yeah, congrats, congrats on, on making 300. It this what, no you know. no tears? You guys aren't going to cry? Maybe I'm crying. You don't know. I, I'm crying. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, that's right. You don't know. I'm, I'm so sad I'm the crying. show is still going. <laughs> oh, wow. Why? Nice. Man, these two are so mean. I'm nice. I like Adam and Sitch. What do you mean, Friggy? They're great. Uh, uh, who? Uh, yes. Who do you uh, Thank yeah. you. Look, Terrible. Mahler, I heard you. I know what Terrible. you're I know what you're saying. Thank you for <laughs> yeah. thank you for coming out. Thank you for sharing the celebration with us. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Anytime, and lads. And uh best and of luck we, with the rest. We owe you one and uh we'll uh have you on again to do uh the Fight Club Fight video. Club? <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. See you there. All right. Take care, guys. Take care. Catch you later, Bye. lads. See you. Boy, boy. Boy.
Hi, you just listened to a clip from the Sitch and Adams show. If you like what you heard, you can listen to our live show right here on this channel on Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you want, you can super chat us. We read $20 and up super chats on the show and then do a follow-up stream on the following Tuesday where we read the rest of the unread super chats and interact with fans of the show. Subscribe to this channel right here to listen to the live show or to listen to more of our awesome clips.